The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have two very, very funny special comedians. First, he is the funniest homosexual that we all know and love, Mr. JP. Yeah. That's my sound. You yeah. like that? That's his superpowers. He That's throws dope. he throws glitter on everybody and everything. Yeah. They get pissed. Uh-huh. Uh, but also, for the very first time on the show, I've been wanting to have him on the show for a really, really long time. We have a traveling comedian who's actually still doing stand-up comedy and is very, very funny, Mr. Levi May. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah. That is quite... Fuck you, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes you. <laughs> He'll never see that, but I'll fucking send him a clip. That's actually my mission. My mission is to get as many comedians on here that actually really don't like Derek, just so we can talk shit on him when he's not yeah, here. I'm in. Notice today, I'm actually in a very, very good mood. I was kind of down last week, and yeah, I think it's... Were. Yeah, it's probably because he's not here, and you're here. No, oh, man. Wow. Yeah. What an honor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, before we get into the show, guys, this is the Laughing on the Side Lines podcast. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and that's fine. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend as many groups of people as we possibly can. So if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Does that mean I can get my dick out? No. Oh. No. Uh, <laughs> all right. Never mind. No, YouTube and Spotify, believe it or not, do not allow that they kind of don't. shit. No. But- Fucking Twitter does. <laughs> <laughs> this one's only on Twitter, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. On all the other platforms, it is slightly frowned upon, believe yeah. it or not. Yeah. Uh, but no, we do have a really good uh, episode for you guys this week. Uh, believe it or not, JP, guess what? I won the draft. No, not that. Oh. Uh, we'll get well, to that I did later. win the draft, though, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't want to bring it up right away. But Fucking spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. No, but uh, we do have current events we're going to go over. Yeah. We have overrated or underrated, as usual, but... Are we doing fuck this guy? No, or f- we're not. No, I like that one. Believe it or not, I made a new segment. A new one. We're doing something <laughs> brand new today, folks. It will be the same thing named differently. <laughs> but we do have something new for you today. No, this is actually really different. All I'm right. really excited for I, it. I, I um, as, as, nor- as per normal, I haven't looked at my sheet. <laughs> no, so. no shit. Uh, we also have questions and preguntas, and as always, a fun draft, and we wrap everything up with a shitty situation at the end. Uh, but before we do that, uh, we're going to figure out who the fuck uh, Levi Mabe is. We're going to talk about our weeks over the last week between me, my, me and JP. We call it our week, week recap, uh, but let's meet Mr. Levi Mabe. Buddy, who the fuck are you? What are you doing? I <laughs> <laughs> I am a uh, stand-up comedian, as you mentioned before. Yeah. Um, I've been on tour most of the year with a comedian out of Canada named Jeff Leeson. Yeah, that's a, uh, we know who that is. Yeah, a very funny guy. And uh, also like the, the nice, like when you hear someone talk about people from Canada, you think like, can people from Canada really be that nice? And Jeff is as nice as, <laughs> as nice as you would have expected from him. And he says tomorrow and sorry a lot. And uh-huh. that's, what that's I, awesome. Yeah, especially sorry. I he, have nothing bad to say about Canadians. Yeah, I, I don't. I only know a Except few of them. Except for Derek. Derek's a dick. But other than that, but he's part <laughs> Canadian, so that makes sense. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we've, I've been doing that. So I did like the first three months of the year we were on tour, and then I was home for a little bit, and then we did a good chunk of May, and then almost all of June. Then I just got like a month off, and then we're going back out on the road basically August through the end of the year. 
Uh, and do you are you mainly part of one side of the country, or are you all over the place? No, we're all over the place. So in the you're whores basically wherever yeah, the money wherever the money's yeah, coming, absolutely. wherever people are yeah. buying tickets. We did like the West Coast and and um, sort of the Southwest. Uh, at the beginning of the year, um, in June, we were kind of in the Northeast, down to Florida, all down the East Coast. And in September, we're doing Canada all the way, all the way, the whole like as you should whole thing as yeah. you fucking should. That's good. Yeah. So I'm I'm uh, his feature act and also the driver. So <laughs> the driver. Yeah, nice. Drive. Yeah, there it's you pretty go. exciting. That's we the just, shoe in. It's like, who can we get to drive? I know this guy named Levi. He's a good driver. <laughs> He's a good driver. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let him tag along. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. But this is not your very first experience with the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. That's right. Uh, believe it or not, we did a live show. It's coming up. I want to say it's been almost two years ago. Yeah. No, one. It's one year. year one year ago. I apologize. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Uh, almost a whole year ago, we did a live show uh, here in Wichita at Vorshay's Lounge, and you were in charge of the video and mm -hmm. the audio for mm -hmm. that live show. That's right. Yeah, Steve, who's been on the show. Before, oh yeah, he has. Um, he um, you know owns Vorshay's, and we were doing comedy shows together, like booking monthly stuff, and your, yours sort of fell in the middle of like oh, yeah. all doing all those shows. So yeah, I was like right in the, right in the middle of producing all those shows for him. So oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that was really, uh, that was a fun show. And it was a really like full, I mean, that was a sold out crowd. It, it was, was really, really <laughs> it was fun. Cool. Yeah. I was not, it was a lot, a lot of Hey dudes in the audience. Hey, shut up. <laughs> I was like, Leave me oh. alone. I was like, you guys sponsored yet? Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I may or may not have reached out. That's right. I may, I may or may not have some <laughs> hey dudes on right now. <laughs> I may yeah. do, yeah. I went to a comedy show recently, and I saw almost the entire, it was like 80% hey dudes and then like 15% cowboy boots, and that was Rodney Carrington. Fuck oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I could believe that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're redneck slip-ons, man. Yeah. That's what yeah. they are. <laughs> yep. My dad's a big fan. We went, there's a in Branson, Missouri, where my dad's family. Oh from. yeah, yeah. There's an outlet, the Tanger Outlet Mall, and they have a Hey Dude store. And I went in. I don't. I don't really wear Hey Dudes. They're not my thing. But we went in. My dad happy. was like, "Oh, I'm gonna get some," and so he's like finding a few. Then he's calling my sister and like, what do you want? He's walking around on FaceTime, showing her all the <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he like calls my sister-in-law and my brother and my mom and our cousin. And so I get bored. So I go sit out outside the store thinking he's going to be 10 more minutes. So I just start like texting. I'm like watching YouTube videos on my phone or whatever. I sit out there for probably an hour and a half yes. on this thing. <laughs> yes. And finally I walk back in I'm like, what are you doing? And he, uh, he's at the <laughs> counter and he has like <laughs> six giant bags just stuffed full of Hey dudes. Oh, Fuck yeah. Yeah. He's like, Hey, carry these out. I'm going to get a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> so I loaded up the car. It was insane. Fucking love it. That's perfect. Yeah. Well, welcome to the show, man. I've Thanks. actually been wanting to do this for a really long time time uh just kind of to pay you back uh for you know doing that show oh <laughs> just kidding i was like what did you do a bad job or something no <laughs> no it was it was like seriously. thanks thanks now come on my podcast <laughs> no honestly Here's your reward. i know it sounds absolutely pathetic and kind of worthless but that may have been one of the top five nights of my entire fucking life oh, it was a great yeah. it was a great time you guys did an excellent job but i had no idea even at the time that you were a stand-up comedian and whenever i found that out i was like motherfucker i owe that dude a favor <laughs> i owe that dude a motherfucking favor he needs to come on the show oh, so well, i appreciate I, it i'm very glad to finally have you i love that you think that's a favor <laughs> shut up jp he doesn't know that yet. dude well, you could possibly get Tens, tens of, of new listeners. people yeah. uh, <laughs> to well, know who you are now. For, for those who are, are in the Wichita area, if you're interested, I'll use this as the plug. Speaking of Vorshays, I will be at a show at Vorshays with with uh, Jeff Leeson uh, August 13th, Sunday night. Ooh, uh, yeah, yeah, man. I'm going. My birthday's the 14th, so yeah. I'm going to go check There's it out like, for sure. Yeah. There's literally like... 11 tickets left it's almost sold out well, but dude fuck. that's awesome but there's only probably 10 people that are gonna be interested in seeing so you know there you go that now's the chance right. tens of people <laughs> yeah well that's awesome man i'm happy that you're on the show uh j we can we can go ahead and get this out of the way for jp on the your week i'm guessing was absolutely boring as shit i mean you think that but i it, liked it <laughs> <laughs> i had a fun time yeah yeah, man, I bet you can't guess what I did. Yeah, I can. I bet you can guess one thing I did. Smoke pot. 
Ding ding. That's, that's it. But you can't <laughs> what, guess another one. What's the? What did you actually do? What, well, what? What else do you think I did? You went to the zoo the week before, so I'm yeah. guessing you probably wouldn't do that two weeks in a row. Mm-mm. No. No. Uh, uh, bull. I didn't, man. I'm what so upset fuck? too. My right. league is over. That's I so had the. So uh, sad. You yeah. guys have. You guys have. But years. a new one starts on the on the, in August. I was getting ready to say there's an off season for bowling. No, I mean there's summer and fall leagues, but there's a couple weeks in between where oh, so there's like nothing. So spring and winter, go fuck yourself because yeah. you can't bowl indoors. Hey man, Derek's gonna bowl with me on know, Monday I nights heard. this year. I can yeah, make fun so. of him for that too. Yeah, I mean he's so basically cool. just arming me with more ammunition. So thanks uh, for that. But yeah, man, I did uh, not bowl, but I did smoke a lot of pot. Okay, and uh, I went and hey, we had a. Uh, charity poker tournament for a buddy of mine who had got cancer oh and, that's cool uh, so we did that uh saturday night and it was fuck man it was awesome did you they win were, no <laughs> <laughs> no i got taken out by my friend linda and um i don't think she listens to the show but in case she does fuck you <laughs> <laughs> fuck you very much like we play a lot together, so, be- so we know how much. I mean, we know how each other play pretty much. And I put in a bet large enough for her to know that her fucking trips were no good. That I had a fucking straight. Three other people at the table knew I had fucking queen ten. They knew I had a straight. This bitch <laughs> has pocket eights, and she she flops trip eights. Uh, Whoopty fucking do right. But uh, it she hit a there was a the board paired on the river. Oh, full house and on the river. And she hit a full house. Nice. <laughs> and she put literally, like, it was super early in the tournament, too. And uh, she put her whole fucking stack in knowing that she had to hit a card to beat me. And, and then she, she did because <laughs> she's the luckiest fucking person on earth. And, uh, I mean, I really like her, though. I really do. Uh, but God damn. <laughs> but fuck her was, right now. Oh, it hurt, dude. It hurt. But then we played some cash game, and uh, I have twin nieces there, 20, just turned 21 a few months ago. Yeah. And, uh, dude, uh, Morgan, she had like almost $1,200 when I left. <laughs> like, she Christ. was killing it. And these poor old guys are just like, yeah, there, she's just fucking taking them for everything because she's cute and young. And but they she don't knows think how to play? She knows how. Dude, I've been playing with that bitch since <laughs> she was three. Like, <laughs> she is way better than I am, and I'm pretty damn good. So, no, she was just sharking the shit out of them. I was so proud of her. I think that's fucking great. Yeah. Man. So, so, so uh, they deserve everything for, for being nice to her and all that other oh, shit they think they're taking advantage they think oh this is gonna be easy money oh yeah. fuck you you're never getting her money <laughs> i've tried i couldn't even get like we used to play for candy and she would win it all oh uh, yeah that's good i'm glad you you know but, uh, taught your nieces you know how, yeah, how, man. To, play, how to teach play them early baby god <laughs> such a fucking weird ass family uh, anything else that you did? Uh, nope. I'm actually kind of surprised. I, I will. I will actually give you kind of a round of applause. That is it, man. That is not a ridiculously Absolutely. boring week. No, man. I mean, it's a lot more than I normally do. <laughs> it is. It's it's normal. Normally, a crescendo of like stepping on a can. That's basically what JP does for yeah, a weekend. That's what I do. Uh, I did have a, I did have a, a a week that you could probably guess as well. You want to guess? I I went. Did you go golf, golfing, Scotty? Sure shit, man. Oh man, you're so cool. Levi, you golf. Yeah, I do. You do? Oh, you're rich, yeah. too. Oh, not fuck like, yeah. I'm not Levi. great at it, but I got, okay. I got into it for like a couple of years where I was like going as often as I could, and then I turn, sort of turned into like the fair weather. Like if it's too hot or too cold okay. or too windy, I'm not Scotty's interested. In the, Scotty's in the I'm going anytime I can yeah. right now. My yeah, uncle, he's in that range. My uncle, I mean, he'll be out there in the sleet, and like if, as long as they're going to let him play, he's out there. That's, that's, yeah. that's this guy. Yeah, yeah that's Are me. Are you good? Uh, mm. I well, for instance, I, I shot. I, I played okay. I shot an eighty three over the weekend. So you keep score. That's I do. I, I keep. Score. Yeah, I shot an eighty three <laughs> better than me. Yeah, right. <laughs> so you do keep score because we. No, I don't yeah. do that. My, my goal is to actually break eighty before the end of the summer, and I've gotten very close a couple of times, and it always fucks you in the head whenever you you are on pace. You're yeah. gonna do it. And then you go into a par five and you have to drop twice because of something stupid you oh, did. Right, right. And that's what sucks. And that ruins your entire round. But it was still a lot of fun. I got to play with all guys for once. No mm, wives. Nice. No women. Nice. To slow up the fucking game. Sounds like a better game to me. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> we got to play with the boys. It was it was a lot of fun. 
Uh, but you will be very excited to hear, JP, I injured myself. Playing golf. Kind of. Okay. Sort of. Uh, I have this is how like new seriously hard into the sport that I am I, I, obviously you have golf shoes right mm -hmm. um, I just found out this year that if you have golf shoes that have spikes once those spikes wear down to completely oh they get real slick uh, not that you know? no uh, that you can actually fucking replace those motherfuckers oh the spikes <laughs> yeah, yeah I thought a $200 pair of shoes was just gone after the oh, season was over so yeah I found, found that out so I was replacing my golf spikes uh, with a screwdriver and I actually Ooh. actually and this is two <laughs> weeks old I forgot to mention it last week. I cut the shit out of my fucking hand. Nice. So yeah, that was a, that was a lot of fun um, But I also uh, did something at work. We called a ladies night oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so at my work we actually have a night where all of our wives or girlfriends uh, women only No, they thems uh, get to come to the the place. I work. I'm just pointing it out because you're a part of that community man That's all I'm doing and uh, <laughs> Okay, I'm with you. <laughs> None of you dudes dress like ladies either. We know who you are. <laughs> if you don't have a pussy, you can't come in. That's right. I'm you saying, have to prove it. I'm saying gay guys are excluded too. That's all. Oh, I'm saying. okay. So uh, even we could even we couldn't attend. That's correct. Well, unless you were helping the with the ladies, and and we put it on every single year, and so I am always in charge of parking. What do they do? What do, What do you mean? What do they? What do? is this? Uh they they have you like boutique uh, shops it's from for here. Your work. Yeah, it's at my work. It's at your work. It's at my work, and it's a big place. And so they have like local businesses that that kind of prioritize women products and so things like Natasha that. So did Natasha go to that? I wonder. Probably. Probably. It, it she does made, all that. I don't women fucking know. I don't shit. ask. Yeah. All right. Anyway. But anyways, and so it's so the women can go and have a good time with a friend and stuff like that, and enjoy themselves. Women have women deserve to have a good time yeah, too. You know. once a year or so. <laughs> That's all they want to do. Apparently, <laughs> yeah. is have fun. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, those are girls, not women. Oh. Yeah. Good yeah. point. Uh, Women just want to fucking, fucking the song. That be was, miserable that and fucking ruin men's lives <laughs> <laughs> and get short haircuts and start wearing Birkenstocks and eating pussy. <laughs> but it's cool. Yeah. Anyways, uh, but basically the guys that stick around put on the event for them. So we catered to them during their time there. And I am in charge. Of, women like it when you cater to them. I know that. really fucking do. Uh, but I'm I'm in charge of the actual parking and the valeting and stuff like that and moving cars. No, you you are you yeah. would think you'd have a woman do that, but <laughs> then again, they probably want their cars back. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, but anyways, I was in charge of parking and I, I uh, every single year I make one request for all of the other guys that are driving and help moving cars. Guess what my one request is? Please, for the love of God, do not wreck any oh, of these yeah, fucking of cars. Don't run it into another car. That's then two That's accidents. even worse. That's yeah. even worse. And uh, I've been doing this now for, I think I've been in charge of parking now for like six years. And I do a pretty good job. Uh, this is the very, very first year where we have had oh. our first accident at said party. Did you just put the car back and tell the woman she did it herself? Because <laughs> that's what I would have done. Gaslighter. I mean, yeah. this was already I mean, there. I don't know. That was there. We <laughs> Looking at her, it probably wouldn't have been that hard to convince her. Right. So, I mean, you know, it's like right. you didn't see yourself hit something on the way in. Uh, mm. But, no, we didn't do that. Obviously, we're a good company. And do you so have a body shop? No. Oh, well, that's no, this is out of pocket. Yeah, we're taking care sucks. of it. But the thing that pisses me off more than anything is the person who actually did the accident is a fucking idiot. He's so stupid at yeah. work. But long story short, he's driving a minivan, which makes it even better. Um, but it also has front sensing sensors. So if you're getting close to something, it, it starts beeping, it starts beeping, screaming it tells at you. you. Yeah. It apparently neglected to sense this giant lifted Tuscany driven by a woman, yeah, uh, as well that had a giant ball hitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that ball hitch oh, went through the front no bumper way. of said minivan. Yeah, that sucks. Good shit. So I've never had an accident, but this one, I made it count. Oh, I had a sucks. ball hitch incident one time. I was getting on the turnpike, and the the K-tag lane, a lady stopped in the K-tag lane. <laughs> and as I pull up, I'm like, what's going on? And she puts it in reverse and just wow. rear it, like comes back and hits me with the ball hitch right through my radiator. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. God. <laughs> and I was like, what Holy is happening? Shit. First of all, you can't stop here. Second of all, you sure as hell can't reverse. reverse. Yeah, that was holy a, and this shit. was like we I had just gone to a movie and I was taking my sister and her husband back to their house in El Dorado oh, where nice. she lived at the time. And so it was like 
almost midnight when this happens. Oh. It was just a nightmare. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. yeah, that's not good. But she um, got right out and was like, this is all my fault. I'm we like, got no that's shit. All, that's yeah, you think? <laughs> he, he just rammed your ball through my radiator. Bullshit. I don't trust her. I'm getting my phone out and recording her. <laughs> yeah. say, say, you it say it again. This, you say this was a lady that did this. It, it was. I'm it was shocked. What is it with chicks driving lifted trucks with ball hitches? Yeah. I mean, it happens now. All right. Something. I all, If I see a Wrangler driving down the street, I mean, it's like a 98% that's chance. True. That's You're a right. Now. That's You're true. Right. That's 100% yeah. true. There were, when my apartment, there was a, a couple of girls that lived next, like, next door to me who were both very attractive, and they both drove Wranglers or two Wranglers out front. Nice. I'm like, just be your own person, please. <laughs> Uh, well, what year? Were you, uh, what year did you graduate? Uh, Two thousand six, dude. Same year. Nice. Okay, so Good for other, you guys for being hold, young hold, and <laughs> still having options left and all that. Good yeah, for man. you guys. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> uh, question: So, if it wasn't a Jeep, because you're 100 percent right, all the hot girls drove Jeeps and one particular car. It's a stereotype that is in my head that I'll just never forget. Can you think of what it is? I guess it's two, but it's all the same brand. Hmm. I don't think I know. So it is either a silver Pontiac Grand Prix okay. or a silver Pontiac Sunfire. Yeah. Those two cars in high school of our year, they were always hot, blonde, and right. kind of Porsche. I, yeah, I wasn't. I didn't associate as much with the hot blonde girls in high school, so I was. Uh, oh, dude's more your type. Neither no. did Scotty. He just watched <laughs> from the bushes. <laughs> no. no, they just they they just you know they did their thing, yeah. and I was like, I bet they're having a good time out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they look like they're having fun. They look like they're having fun. Oh look, she just dropped something. <laughs> <laughs> Level stalker. Uh, yeah. Did have did anybody watch any good shows or movies over the weekend that you want that you want to give a shout out to? I saw Oppenheimer. Yeah, oh, how's that, man? shit. Yeah. I want to see it. it without was really without good. spilling yeah. the beans of what happens. They figured out how to do the bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, damn it. Yeah. It now so I don't have to shocking. go see it. I have heard nothing but good things yeah, about that. Too. It was I'm really, really good. I will be blown away if uh, Killian Murphy doesn't get the Oscar for Best Actor. I mean, he was incredible That's in that good show. That's good to hear. And um, honestly, Robert Downey Jr. will probably get nominated for Best Supporting Actor. Fucking his, awesome. His role was super good. And he, like, he was a little older and kind of played not really the Robert Downey Jr. character, which is huh. it's nice to see him kind of do something. Honestly, the whole the whole movie incredibly well acted, beautifully shot, of course. And uh, other than there was like a, a, about two and a half hours in where I was like, okay, it's starting to feel a little long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, but it was worth. I mean, it was worth it. It was great. I, I'm just. Sad I didn't get to do the Barbenheimer. I was going to do Barbie oh, and Oppenheimer, no. and I didn't get... I can't do it. Yeah, I can't go. I can't go see Barbie. Like, wow. my wife wants to go with a friend to go see Barbie. She played with Barbies whenever she's a kid. And I know it's kind of supposed to be a comedy I, movie. Me too. I'm me sure, too. Well, duh. But I can't, I can't go. I can't do sure it. Sure you can. Man. I know. I fucking... Just I for once in your life, don't be a fucking bag of dicks. Also, for, just, I mean, Margot just, Robbie. Like, well, yeah, what, right. what, 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 what else do you want? See? I, I, that He's would, right. She is the most beautiful woman on the face. And she, I heard she's cool. There, I saw a video yeah. just the other day that she, is cool. she was actually like taking <laughs> yeah. pictures and sign of autographs for a fan. Well, look it up. The fan ended up being deaf. She knows how to sign, figured it uh -huh. out, and started having a conversation while she was taking pictures and stuff. Yeah, that's that's cool. fucking awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. two thumbs up. She figured up for out her. they were deaf because she kept saying, No, I don't want to sign your autograph. <laughs> and the guy just kept shoving it Here. in her face. But uh, screw but her and her movie. Yeah, but no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, she's nobody fine. wants to see that. She's yeah. fine, but yeah, fuck that movie. My I sister is a huge Barbie fan. Grew up loving Barbie. In fact, she would make me play Barbie with her when we were kids. You and would. And I would always make them like have superpowers. I was like, yeah. they, they can fly if you. And she would get so mad at me because <laughs> I would always make them fly. But I was gonna go see it with her, but her her uh, birthday was like last week, so her husband took her. Like they did a whole date night and saw Barbie. Okay. But then we sat in the. I don't know how much overlap in audience there is here with your audience, but we watched Trixie Mattel talk about Barbies. Nice, <laughs> nice. Trixie Mattel is one of my favorite drag queens. Oh, in case you're not love familiar her. With who Sorry, she man, is. not yeah. my thing. Yeah, but uh, she doesn't a big have Barbie. to be. You know what, man? I don't know. I'm not. Not gonna seek it out though either you're such a bag of piss dude <laughs> i mean i know like, rupaul does that i want to like you man but you just make it so hard i don't know short i mean short of Ru i mean trixie might be the second most famous i agree drag queen, yeah short okay. of rupaul okay so maybe i know who they are or like if i saw a yeah, picture yeah. but i don't 
I, I don't know name. First of all, I don't know names. Yeah, why? Period. Why try and broaden your horizons? <laughs> <laughs> Just stick to your own dirt road. Fucking. <laughs> I know what I like. Yeah, I hear you. I know. I. I. I it's just Golf, not my stuff. snowboarding, and anything other things that rich white people like. <laughs> right up my alley. Yep. Um, Sparkling seltzer. If you haven't already seen it, I, I there it is still on Netflix, and I'm trying to blow through it because it's fucking addictive as shit. Yeah. Have, you, have you ever seen Suits? Oh yeah. Yeah, I watched Suits back when it was on the when it was USA cool. Network, right. and yeah, I you had to wait for Suits a new episode when, uh, every week. Meghan, Meghan Markle, Markle wasn't yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah. She's, uh, she's oh. so good, so good in that show too. She is so much hotter in that show than she is in real life, because I know she says kind of weird shit from time to time. But in that show, holy fuck, she's hot. Yeah, wow, it's a great show. But it's a fucking great there's, show. Too. I keep seeing it on Netflix, and when it pops up, there's just a still image of some woman in like lingerie. Lingerie? Who? Yeah. The? She's not part of the show no. in a major way. I couldn't remember who she was at all. I don't think she's a major character. Oh. She is legitimately in the very first episode who okay. Harvey is sleeping with in oh. like the first couple of seconds mm. of the episode, and you never see her again. You know who's also really hot in that show? The character <laughs> Scotty. Do you remember? Sc- he, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I do like Scotty. Yeah. I'm a, I'm, I have a hard thing for Donna. Oh, oh Donna. Yeah, oh, Donna's I great. I don't know any of these actors. I don't know where they went. They just fell yeah. off of the face of the earth. But Donna's well, a redhead. a duchess. Uh, that's true. <laughs> One of them. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, great show. Two yeah, thumbs up. If you haven't seen it, it's fucking awesome. But, anyways, how about you, JP? Anything else? Cool. No, can't think of anything. Let's move on to the show. We're <laughs> going to get into some uh, current events. Because both of you guys are not giant sports fans, I'll touch a little bit on it, but we don't got to fucking live there. Mm-hmm. Kind of want to know your opinion on some other stuff. Cool? Cool, yeah. man. Whatever you want. You're the, you run this thing. We are just here to make you look better. That's perfectly f- And you know what? I appreciate that, You're by welcome, the way. man. Anyways, uh, so there was a big, huge sale in the NFL. If you have heard of this, great. If you haven't, yeah, heard. that's awesome, man. I'm the, pretty stoked about the whole deal. So we had the Washington Redskins, then we had the Washington Football Team, and then we had the Washington Commanders, which was their inaugural season last season. Mm-hmm. Right? They have already uh, sold the team because Dan Snyder, who's the owner, is a giant douchebag. Yeah, is he that is. the Twisted Sister guy? I no, don't no. know. No. That's D. Snyder. That's oh, D. no, it's D. Snyder. Snyder. <laughs> you know what? Probably related somewhere. He said, there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. No, it is not. <laughs> not. But, uh, D but seems like a good dude, by the yeah. way. Yeah. 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 Not Dan. Dan's a bag of dicks. <laughs> Dan's a bag of dicks. Uh, but he's such a douchebag that the new ownership that came in the, that bought the team is already talking about changing the name again, okay. which I think would probably be a great idea. If they don't go back to the Washington football team, I'll be so disappointed. <laughs> I suggest no. just changing their name to X. X? What do you yeah. think about that? Twitter did that shit today. Or do you think since he's passed that they could somehow license the fucking Prince symbol? <laughs> <laughs> because that would be pretty dope. Okay. The team Change the team known. colors to all purple and fucking okay. the yeah. team formerly known as the Washington Redskins. And then it's just that symbol. Damn. You know what? I kind of I kind of want him to go back to something else, but I don't I don't really care. But the fucked up thing is, is that I guess of all of 2022, they had really shit attendance and really shit ticket sales. Uh, with the new ownership, they have already surpassed their total year amount of ticket sales yeah. for 2024 or 2023. Yeah. 24 What's season. his name? Bottom right. Uh, uh, Magic, Johnson Magic Johnson is part, is part owner. He's it, he's yeah. actually minority owner. Yeah, well, so. he's the celebrity they bring in to get everybody hyped. Exactly. But that's cool though. The fact that he would sign on for it. I think I mean, so too. I, I don't think he's just going to be a passive part of it. I don't. I don't either. think he'll let his name be attached to something that he won't have some kind of fucking. Oh uh, yeah. I, I hope in. I hope you're right, and they they may not be half bad this year, so we'll see. Depends um, on the script. Shut up, Derek's <laughs> not here, you jackass. Uh, but by the way, I saw the. Uh, did you see the Denver Broncos uh, new unis that they're going to sport twice this year? No, not going to lie to you, but they're dog. I mean, they're fucking awesome. I'm going to have to buy some, dude, for sure. Yeah, yeah. What, what is it? It's like a throwback Denver Broncos jersey. So oh, it has oh. the. It, it's a white helmet with the throwback Denver with Broncos the, logos. With yeah, the, yeah. With, the, with the with the Bronco yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I'm fucking dope. not a sports fan myself, but I grew up in the John Elway era. Oh yeah, and uh, some of my family are big Denver fans. I'm a big Denver so fan. I collected yeah. like John Elway trade cards and stuff and okay I had, them, I had them hanging in my room and i was like this is what young boys do right <laughs> <laughs> i don't know Ooh. like i was uh, 
<laughs> when they're trying to appear straight, yes. True. I learned, I, learned, I learned how to draw the Bronco, and I was drawing it nice. on everything. There you know? go. I'm a sports fan, but yeah. I was <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, next thing, uh, I'm a Detroit Lions fan, so I, I ha- <laughs> they're going to be good. God damn it, they're going to be good. Eventually they will. It was probably look at the Chiefs. I didn't think that would fucking ever happen. Correct. They're great now. Correct. Uh, but no, they the best like hard knocks on HBO ever was this uh, last year, which was Detroit. And Dan Campbell, the head coach, and if you don't know who Dan Campbell is, he is like the most loving players coach. Huh? Soup guy. No, I mean related again, oh, but not the yeah. same guy. Oh, okay. <clears throat> but anyways, he's out doing up downs with the players and like working out with the players. Mm. So he's like the team coach kind of guy, and he's making it kind of a. I don't know. Wouldn't you want that kind of a coach for you? Like people that get personal trainers and stuff. Do you just want some fat guy like standing over you going, give me another one, you motherfucker. No, you want to read. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> do you want Andy Reed for your coach? <laughs> <laughs> some people do. Uh, but no, I, I'm really excited. I think the Lions are going to be good, and that's all the sports that I got. Yes, there are trades. Yes, Saquon Barkley got a one-year hey, contract. Man, I'm good. Did you hear about yesterday? Uh, Bronny James had a heart attack during uh my uh, workout yeah with, i did uh, hear USC. about it. i know he didn't die though no so but big fucking deal i mean that's still a pretty fucking big deal right yeah no no you don't want to talk about it don't care i know you, i know why you don't want to talk about no, it I just but don't it's care. okay i just don't care okay man no i'm just kidding i you feel know, bad for him yeah man no i mean i just think that's a pretty fucking remarkable thing for as young as he is yeah that sucks i mean that sucks it i mean really that could, sucks depending on what they find out man that yeah could, that could be uh could be career, career over kind of thing yeah man if any if there's any possibility that he could give that symptom to his dad though that would be totally fine with me <laughs> i know you don't like him but Fuck dude Man, you got to res- respect kid. what he's done. No, I don't. Uh, no, I mean, you don't I have don't. to. But. Nah. Good basketball player, douchebag. Uh, but other than that, hmm. that's I don't that. even know who we're talking about. LeBron, LeBron James. James. He, you think he's a douchebag? Big time. Isn't like the thing about him, everybody's like, he's the nicest guy ever. No. Oh, really? Oh, no. Uh, everybody like, thinks he's a crybaby. Yeah, crybaby, shitty fucking, teammate. Yeah. He's he's a prima donna. Yeah. He, and he's then, fucking LeBron James. I don't <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Who are you? You're Scotty Gurman. whoop de fucking <laughs> dude. He's LeBron James. <laughs> I stand corrected. Thank you. Thank you. I'm at least loyal, though, JP. Yeah, I, know, I know where my loyalties that's lie. That's true. That's true. Dick. <laughs> um, all right. That's the sports that I have for today. Now we get to move on to stuff where we can all participate. I, I saw this, and I thought it was funny. It is kind of sports related. There was a YouTuber who staged himself sleeping through a WNBA basketball game, uh, and now he is going to be banned for all all nba events including wnba and nba all of them who's gonna be like that's him that's the youtube guy don't let him in i don't like what do they got his picture on a fucking clipboard <laughs> i mean how what do you mean he's banned kiss my ass i don't know i bet you they gotta take a driver's license dude number. i want to find this guy we should find this guy and we should try to go to every team's like home stadium stadium and try to get him in Arena we could record the whole thing i'd be down dude i guarantee you, banned <laughs> did he dude. go like big like blankets and oh yeah oh okay, yeah okay, oh okay. yeah with like the stocking or like this <laughs> little, little, little hat with the ball at the end of it and i don't and i know i've never heard of the guy or seen him before on youtube before but guess what happened after he did this oh man oh, subscribers up, went fucking sure. through the roof yeah, of course do something controversial, piss off enough people, and you're gonna get popular. That's kind of oh, well, that's was it. Jason Aldean? <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. No, it wasn't. Uh, but anyways, yeah. I that's great. I it's think a it's a bit of it's a dick move, but you gotta admire the. Uh, oh, I totally admire it. The, well, yeah, I don't. I'm I, not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> he has been here for ten minutes, and he knows what a piece of shit you are. <laughs> I would have done it with him. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have cared. I believe it. Uh, right. <laughs> Here we go. So, hey, this is going to be a great show. <laughs> so he would have came up and t- like pointed at both of us, and especially you. You are never allowed in another NBA event ever again. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I wouldn't have cared. But no, he got like full, like laid out on the fucking four or five chairs, laid all the way down with a pillow and a stocking cap with a blanket and everything and just acted like he was sleeping through it because it's women's basketball. So that's what yeah. happens. I'm um, sure you could take him. No, I <laughs> definitely could not. He definitely could out golf him. 
<laughs> sure could. I know that. I have no did idea. Did you know he, he got a new driver here a while back, and the guy that fitted him for the driver uh, actually worked with Tiger Woods. Yeah, I did. So, I mean, I if that doesn't impress you, then you're just like me. <laughs> <laughs> did he say he saw something special? He in did. He yeah. did. He did. He was trying to sell me a club. Of course yeah. he did. He's like, yeah, wow, yeah, I haven't seen a swing like that since, well, I'm not going to say his name. But, <laughs> 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 but his last name rhymes with schmuds. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, and he's just trying to sell, sell me some golf clubs. So uh, that's cool. Man. I still would love to know how they're going to how they banned him oh there's i'm sure there's a way and especially there's like, somebody that works for like marketing for the team that goes and finds out that it's a youtube guy and goes oh well now we'll look him up and find him and i'm i guarantee they won't let him in at least for a while how? they'll never recognize him dude so but, when, whenever they say for the rest of your life that's a stretch you know, dude, like we've all been kicked out of, of the rest of never i could get him into any stadium <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> There's no way you can't ban somebody from a fucking hundred thousand person stadium. You'll never. Yeah, I mean, he the, might not be able to buy tickets under his own name, right? But online, yeah. But if if, if but he's not just ticket. gonna go fucking trot in there and go wait. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let it cool down for Gab like Zooks. a month or something. <laughs> That's he's on the top ten list. I know it. I want. Yeah, no. I, I kind of want this guy with the sleeping bag coming yeah, in. Here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of want. I recognize this hat. I kind of <laughs> want him to actually start a trend. I want more people to go to WNBA basketball games and do the same shit. Just wear the wear the outfit and the ensemble and go in and do it i think that'd be all right i'd, I'd be part of that yeah do i need to start something yeah i think Man, you should do it. <laughs> absolutely i don't think enough people that's hate how you. i would want to be yeah. known if i were you i don't think enough people hate you and i think this will help <laughs> oh no i think there's plenty no i think there's not enough <laughs> i mean right, I'm well. the, yes yes you're right there are plenty but all we right. could always fucking recruit some more <laughs> it's all about recruiting scotty you I, should know that that's true you know? I, I give that to you um, but you know what? There's there's some very hateful people that I want to talk about very right right now. You know who it is? Who? Disney. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what they really really hate? What? People that are very little. They don't like little people. They don't like little people. Well, they cast a lot of them in their movies. Not for one recently. Mm -hmm. No, there's a movie called Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and they and were they like, cast it all just like kids. No, they they. <laughs> it's like they're little. They did the stereotypical inclusivity bullshit that they've been doing over the last couple of uh, movies. You don't you ever since they had a black little mermaid. <laughs> Scotty hates Disney. It was it's been over since the black mermaid for I, Scotty. I didn't say anything about that. Never have, never will. I didn't even say anything. Not on air. But yeah. Snow White's not white, but that's beside the point. <laughs> no, I'm just giving you more ammunition. But no, uh, actually, there was a lot of uh, little people that came out. So like Peter Dinklage, which his comment about it was not what you would expect. It was more like, why do they keep on like using this for dwarves, you know, as like a part of a movie? It's like what they use. CGI? No. Well, they're they like CGI'd in the dwarves. Here's the thing. We don't, we're not paying them. It's called. <laughs> it's we'll just called. fucking make some up on the computer. I mean, I'd how hard okay can it that. be? I'd be okay <laughs> with that. But no, they legitimately put. Now they're like these little magic people, and they're not small or short by any means they're whatsoever. Just like, it's like me it's just in a like, pink dress. Yeah. And just skip out on stage I and mean, throw glitter. I just, could do it. It's just the stereotypical thing that everybody's doing. Okay, we gotta get a white, tall, skinny guy, you know, somebody of color, and then just move all get a gay guy. You gotta get all of this. You gotta meet your criteria. And you gotta make sure you hit I've every single one of them. I've always wanted to be an actor. Them. You should be. I think I should be too. You, yeah. Strike while the iron, iron's hot right now. Now's your like, chance. Yeah, now's your chance. Yeah. You could have been a dwarf. I could have been a dwarf. <laughs> you really could have. Yeah. Good deal. <laughs> I mean, but they did use, uh, they used uh, the Oompa Loompas, right? There was that one guy for uh, the um, uh, Willy Wonka and the Char or Charlie and the Chocolate Charlie Factory. And the Chocolate Factory yeah, 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 just one dude. They just CGI'd him on there. Just mm -hmm. do that for the dwarves. dwarves. You're right. I yeah. think they could have just CGI'd They could have just CGI'd a bunch of dwarves. How, yeah. how long would that take? Not very long. They're really little. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesus, we're evil. Uh, but no, the one person who was actually really pissed off about it that I saw and like expressed his his anger was Wee Man from Jackass, taking work from all all of us people that have the ability to play this part, and we're not even getting offered it because of this bullshit. Yeah. So, 
It's yeah. it's controversial, man. It's just uh, that's who I want to put in my Disney movie. We man, we man. Fuck yeah, wouldn't yeah. you? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> dude can <laughs> skateboard, man. That that's that be true. his magical power. That's true. Smokes a lot of weed. His Call skateboard dope. has that's dopey. really small wheels because otherwise he wouldn't be able to reach the ground. <laughs> oh, that's but funny. No, that's I, true. I, oh, uh, have you not ever seen his fucking? <laughs> No, bro. His that's trucks, true. His, his trucks, trucks are, are so shorter. Short, there you and go. the wheels are smaller. Oh, are they really? Yeah, so that he can fucking reach the ground. Yeah, that's and fucking. That's fucking perfect. Good yeah, for you, wee yeah, man. Dude. You, you're a you know game changer. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's all I got. Unless you guys want to talk about anything else. Oh no, I do have one more thing. We still have not found the girl, the plane lady. Mm. I want. Uh, I want people to look and find this person because well we haven't found her because that motherfucker she's been is abducted. not fucking real yeah. oh dude she's, she's gone the lizard people oh, took yeah. her back lizard to their people lair took her. And, i want uh, yeah lizard food she's lizard food now well yeah. like people on twitter are now like like kind of i mean obviously they're going to joke about it but they're like putting her in like costumes and making her look really hot so i kind of want to see now you want to see what she really looks I like i want to see what this chick really looks if we like we can objectify her it's worth finding it's her. worth finding <laughs> I mean, they put her in a... They He's put, never coming on your podcast again. <laughs> <laughs> he, he hadn't made up his mind before we started, but now I don't think he likes you, man. <laughs> and I don't blame him. <laughs> I think it's great. Uh, but no, they put they, they CGI'd. Uh, you know, you, you're, you gave him the idea. <laughs> Little Mermaid, like X Men costumes to put her on, and I'm like, hey, bro, we hot. don't need any actors, just CGI anymore. Chat GPT, man. Yeah, Let's we do don't, it. dude. We can nail the voice. We can CGI the person. Yeah, dude, you wouldn't even know that you weren't watching the actor, right? So yeah, it's all. Yeah, so it's why all are we paying don't these? Have to pay them. And <laughs> fucking strike all you want, motherfuckers. <laughs> We'll get fucking Bob in here, and he'll just fucking CGI your ass in there, and then you don't have a fucking choice. There do you, you think, go. Do you think we'll have like the first like non-real movie star, like not not a CGI version of a real movie star, but a completely uh, CGI yes. movie star? Yeah, that is in I think more we already kind of did mm -hmm. the gorillas. Like when they came out Planet with their, the apes? No, the, <laughs> no, the, the, the band. Oh, the band? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah for a long of. time, nobody knew what those guys looked like. Yeah. They were just fucking cartoons. Yeah, because they weren't so, really, they weren't like. Yeah, right. Yeah. What is that so, song? Yeah, what I is think, that song I called? John Wayne? For sure. Maybe we could do it first. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> no, what was that? What was their Where big hit? I mean, it would work, right? Yeah, we are poised right at the <laughs> We are precipice. right. Dude, that might be <laughs> the best idea. If anyone could do what we could. <laughs> that might be the sure. best idea I've heard on this show ever. <laughs> so, a fun fact, wasn't that show, or wasn't that song their big hit, wasn't it called like John Wayne or something like that? Their, the Gorillas, their big hit? Yeah. I believe that's what it's called, and yeah. I apologize if I'm wrong. But do you know where the beat and the idea of that song came from? It actually came from like a take home keyboard. The beat and the melody all came from. Like, oh, yeah. It oh, was one of those preset yeah. buttons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's where that's that cool. song came from. Yeah, I found yeah. that out. I was like, wow, that's fucking cool. All right. Well, anyways, that is my current events for this week. Yes, uh, yes I know there's other stuff that we could talk about, but we're not going to, so you'll get over it. Right. Um, now we get to move on to the fun part of the show. We get overrated or underrated this week, as usual. I've got some, uh, and I know you guys are sending stuff in, and so I really do appreciate it. <laughs> I just saw the first one. <laughs> what? Oh, you'll see. Uh, well, well, I know, but we'll get there in a second. Oh, I know boy. you guys are sending these in. A lot of the ones that have been sent in, if I'm not responding to them, it's because, yes, we've done them before. But keep on sending some new ideas in. If we like some of the ones that you guys suggest, I'll give you a shout out on the show, tag you, whatever the case may be. He says um, that every week, and then every week we never have any. No, actually, we do. Uh, but again, today at work was really shitty, and that's when I was writing the show. So that's beside the point. You need to start committing to the show a little more. You know what I mean? <laughs> or maybe um, commit to work a little more. One of the two. Definitely not like work. You're splitting it. <laughs> yeah. That you did. <laughs> fuck work. <laughs> Pays for my truck. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, anyways, uh, so this week, overrated or underrated, we get to start off with this one that JP is already laughing about. Overrated or underrated, watching a child get his ass beat in the grocery store by their mom or dad. Well, I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of <laughs> torn on this one. Why? Because... Apparently, they don't like it when you stand around the corner and jerk off. Oh, <laughs> so, I, I mean, I guess overrated. Overrated? Overrated oh, because I didn't. I, now I have to pass letters out every time I go to one of my yeah. fucking niece's school functions. Uh huh. 
No, uh, how about you, Levi? What do you think? <laughs> I can guess what yours is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty's definitely going underrated. He I loves see a kid getting yeah. beat. How yeah. do you know? I want to see him bleed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to say uh, overrated. And, and the reason I'm going to say is because I prefer watching a parent completely ignore their child and the child's <laughs> losing their mind and they can't get their parents' attention. That is fun to watch because that kid is doing everything he can. That's whenever I come out of nowhere and deck and that child in that kid. Yeah, face. Scotty will be your kid for you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You don't even have to ask. No, no. Derek and I are actually, we have an agreement on this particular deal. We both think that if that kid is losing its mind, you have every right to shut them the fuck up Even in any way yours. you want. Mm -hmm. Beat their ass. I'm totally okay with it. Absolutely fine. I mean, I'm not saying like... Last episode, they wanted to put shock collars on kids. <laughs> so you, you missed that. That's, 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 yeah. They can run away fast. Uh, just get one with a diff, like a long radius and they can't run away from you. Just drop them. Yeah, yeah well, smart. And that was Derek's idea because, you know, he's too fat. He can't run. He well, can't chase after him. So you, you jumped right on board. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I think it's funny. Uh, but no, I think, uh, I think it is um, underrated, obviously. So yeah. Sure. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, a beauty pageant where all contestants have to be heavily intoxicated. Isn't that how they normally do it? No. Oh. You want to know how I know? How? Because all of their answers when asked specific questions are the most politically fucking correct answers you could possibly have. So, no, I want the absolutely hammered chick that is gorgeous <laughs> trying to slur her way through a question she can barely understand because then we're going to get the actual answer of what the capital of the United States is and she says Toronto or some shit. Like, I want that. Mm. I, I miss Miss South Carolina or whatever from a few years back. I was going to say, yeah. she was definitely drunk. Yeah, she's like, um, she we're just, teaching yeah. our kids in the schools with the maps like such as. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> that girl, that girl's no my sense. favorite. Yeah, she her. was awesome. But yeah, I would say I would say that has to be underrated. I, I would absolutely watch that. Yeah. Entertaining yeah. as that hell. That would be great. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, the only bad thing is I think he heels would would uh, would be eliminated oh, yeah, for this particular deal. <laughs> we'd break some ankles. <laughs> we'd break sure. some ankles for sure. How about you, JP? Well, you know, as much as I love women, uh, a bunch of drunk ones on a stage doesn't sound like a good time to me. So I'm going to have to go overrated on this one, too. I don't, dude, I think it at least. I would, do like women. I know you do. Just not the, lesbians. There you go. And I just wanted a disclaimer. Right. Uh, uh, but, All right. but the other thing is, is whenever you get a whole bunch of girls in a specific kind of competition, no matter Drunk what it is, oh, then you give them alcohol. Yeah. There is going to be fights yeah. everywhere. And I think Carnage, half of them will be crying for no reason. Yeah, 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 exactly. And some people like myself just want to watch the world burn. And this is one of those particular scenarios. Okay. Next one. Overrated or underrated creative sex positions. Don't look at me like that, JP. <laughs> I can suck my own dick if you'll hold my ankles. Why? Why? <laughs> I'm just saying, I need your help. No. <laughs> I'm going underrated. <laughs> underrated. No. Way underrated, man. Uh, you haven't ate ass until you eat it hanging from a ceiling. No. <laughs> Absolutely fucking not. I, okay. Well, underrated. I'm still going underrated. I mean, that's... This is overrated. You don't seem like a creative person. I'm very creative. Not, not. I I'm mean, also very I romantic. I feel like I feel like as soon as you come, you just slap her in the head and say "enough, bitch," and then <laughs> she goes and cooks you dinner. I feel like you're that guy. I mean, maybe. Okay. But <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hmm. Uh, but no, I, I'm more of a hopeless romantic kind of a guy. It's it's about all missionary all the time. No, yeah, for real. <laughs> no. for real. Don't look at me. <laughs> no, absolutely not. No, there's some. There's, You're breathing on me. No, <laughs> there's some. Stop it. Some creativity needs to be involved. I, I, I say that absolutely. That's a little bit. Un, I mean, that's underrated, right? You have to have a little bit of creativity. All the creativity. However. Yeah. Within fucking reason. No. I don't I don't want to be like on a fucking like swing set 
Okay, fuck it. A sex swing set in the corner of my bedroom doing weird shit. I don't want it to underrated. be... Yeah, I'm, I'm with, <laughs> underrated. Yeah, I'm with JP on this. Yeah, way underrated. The swing this, set sounds awesome. This yeah. does not need to be a fucking Olympic event, okay? That's all I'm saying. So all you do is you send out your address to a handful of random phone numbers, <laughs> and then you leave the door unlocked, hop in the swing, and what happens, happens. You know, it's like Vegas. You don't talk about it afterwards. Here's the other thing. I'm guessing that neither of you two are married. Correct. <laughs> You yeah. know I can't get married. You Scotty. can too. <laughs> but no. <laughs> no, I think once you hit marriage, I think all the fun stuff is 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 gone. And now it's That's romantic. That's incorrect, time. actually. <laughs> because I was with a guy for almost 12 years, and I think that once we got married yeah well, that's when the real fun started <laughs> oh because, my god yeah no trust me you you're just not creative man thanks man appreciate yeah, it okay i'm gonna i'm gonna officially chime in as underrated also because okay. I, nice. I do think though that there's a little bit there's a moment when you realize like oh there's not there's not that many different things you can do until you start bringing in like extra people infrastructure <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people. Yeah. yeah that's how, that's where we were at with yeah, yeah, it yeah 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 <laughs> you, wait a minute you said infrastructure in my my infrastructure. mind hold on a second hold on a second we're getting into something here i thought you said infrastructure and i guess i just heard structure and all of a sudden i'm thinking of like a full-on movie set of teenage mutant ninja turtles and she's april and i'm Raphael or some See, shit like so that. now, hey, there I you mean, go. Teenage Mutant yeah. Ninja Turtle fantasy. <laughs> we got, <laughs> now, we, okay, now we're uh, talking. Now we lit a match under his eyes. Underrated. Under <laughs> I know yeah. what to get your wife now. Yeah. A fucking Ninja Turtle costume. Let me introduce you to this position. It's called Shell Shocked. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated. Workplace sexual harassment training. Um, I mean, can I put money down on his answer? <laughs> <laughs> no, because there's nobody that would take that bet. That's right. <laughs> the line on that range would be zero to one. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about it. I think uh, it's a tough call because there are like – showing someone hey touching a girl's ass as she walks by you shouldn't do that like we all know you shouldn't do that but i do it anyway <laughs> you do it anyway yeah. you can get away so, with it so I showing can. a video like and that I do. <laughs> no that a video like that is a little bit is a little training like that is a little overrated but what i think is underrated are the <laughs> lots of ways uh, that uh, rich men have figured out to sexually harass people under the radar, and those things. I think it's called Twin Peaks. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Twin Peaks. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, surprisingly enough, I'm going to say this is actually underrated. If <laughs> if there are men and women in the workplace. Yeah. If it's all guys, which I mean, in the line of work that I do, it's majority JP gay sh- porn. JP. <laughs> <laughs> when Scotty's making his porn, it's all dudes. <laughs> no, uh, but no, I, I do. It's I, in his contract. Honest, honestly, this is definitely underrated. But don't give it a fucking hour long course. It, it's kind of already understood. But if you need to clear it up, then clear it up. But in all seriousness, <laughs> if it's a bunch of dudes. There are so many sexual harassment cases that have not been filed because of people picking on other guys. That's just the way that we show each other we love each other is by pulling pranks and doing fucked up shit. So you heard it here. Boys <clears throat> will be boys. Boys will be boys. That's that's just the way that I feel. However, <laughs> underrated in most circumstances. How about uh, who didn't answer? Fuck. I didn't answer. Go for it, JP. <laughs> so I think the training. I'm so fucking scared right now. The training is overrated. The sexual harassment itself is underrated. <laughs> I figured it was coming. Uh, it was. So that's where I'm at on it. Especially if they didn't know that they were gay from the beginning. Correct. Yeah, well, they will. They will now. Okay. There you go. I figured it. Uh, and my favorite one, last one, overrated or underrated, seeing your favorite porn star in public. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen that. I'm g- I don't think I have a favorite. Imagine. I've also never seen a least favorite porn star. Right. I was going to say. I'm imagine. Most, it's rare that I come imagine across. Imagine your favorite porn star. I can't. I, I mean, Justin Bieber. Okay. That's fair. No, uh, no. Somebody like if that. If you ever made a porn, I would fucking pay good money to see that one. Okay. But this is my deal. Okay. Backdoor teen mom. Okay. <laughs> there yeah. You go. There you yeah. go. There you see? go. So this is the really, this is the scenario that I immediately put in my brain when I, when I saw this as being an option. 
If I had a favorite porn star and she is if. known for doing nothing and but if porn. I don't have a bunch of pictures printed off under my bed of Total, her. Yeah, and I if. To, totally do. Yeah. Um, but if I saw her in public and I'm a huge fan, right? I'm going to want to go I, over. I'm an average fan. And say, <laughs> I'm an average size fan. Right. No one's like, complaining about no, the size yeah. of the fandom. That, if <laughs> I saw funny. Donna and she did porn, yeah. I'm going there right. okay. and going, oh, my God, I love your work. Except for if you awkwardly see that person in public and you're with your spouse, that could be a very, very strange scenario, hmm. right? If you go up to that person, no, we watch <laughs> we watch porn together. Okay, well, uh, the gays, oh, well. so it wouldn't be awkward. At all. We'd probably both be running up there. Long story short, this is overrated. I wouldn't want to meet right. a porn star. I say underrated. Anything. Underrated. Yeah. Okay, that's I'm fair. Gonna, I'm gonna go overrated. I don't think I would do anything with that. <laughs> right. Yeah, would, you don't want to walk up and act like right. I. I recognize. I, I would hope uh-huh. I was with. Uh-huh. I was hope I was with a buddy. I'd be like, look, <laughs> I've seen <laughs> every inch of her. Yeah, <laughs> you look really familiar. Yeah. Can I see your butthole? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I, I know I recognize you. That's like the awkward thing to go up and say. Be like, hey, have I seen your butthole before? Yeah, you know? I, and then she just looks at you and go, probably. It's like, yeah. I thought so. I, I knew thought it. it was you. I wonder if they like being recognized. I'm sure there are some of that Of course, do. there's some. Yeah, they love it. But I bet there are a few who are like, can I oh, just God. get some Chipotle? Get yeah. home, you I'm just, know? Can I just get this burrito and then go fuck on camera oh, yeah. again? <laughs> For sure. Like the, like, especially not like the superstars, but the one that did that one video one time that Two went girls, viral. Two girls, one cup. <laughs> uh, I don't. They I don't like being recognized. Dude, no. I, can't, I can't imagine you would. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get a couple of seconds into that movie before I start wanting, like, g- gag. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's bad. It's disgusting. It is bad. But uh, but no, like that one chick that did that one movie to get through like college or some shit like that, and uh, it went viral. Two one bags, time. one bucket. That's the that one girl. And, yeah, and that's then people come. Hey, I've seen your your work. It's, it's like oh, that's got to be fucking awkward. But yeah, mm. overrated. I think uh, for myself All as right. well. All right. That is overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to the new segment. Oh, we got a new segment, folks. Woo-hoo! Buckle up. This could get... I hope it's better Woo! than fuck that guy or I am that guy. And No. <laughs> that one where we just said kill everybody. What was that one? <laughs> that was a great segment. That was a good segment. Yeah. I, think. I think it was. Every answer was just kill him. I'm really excited about this one. because We this, killed that segment. All of us can participate in this, and I like it. There's actually like numbers involved, so you got to okay. think, and you got to be on your feet. Okay. This segment is called This Is Where i draw the line or that's where i draw the line okay i'm going to give a couple of scenarios and all of us get to figure out where we would draw the line in this particular scenario of being inappropriate and still allowable okay Okay? Mm -hmm. all right first one what is the maximum number of times you can shart your pants per month before you should go and see a doctor one asking for a friend (laughs) one Uh, is this the first month, if, if you're like, if it's a regular <laughs> monthly occurrence, yeah, then it's you know, on the first month, you I mean, you can get one out, <laughs> yeah, easily, right? Two is even like, ha, I got a funny story now, <laughs> <laughs> you'll never believe what I did again. <laughs> I think three's where you start going, is something going on? <laughs> I might have a problem, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But if it's two months in a row of three, then you're then like, you're you know what, trouble. I need to see some, then you have ass cancer, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I, I I would say I would definitely say this is more prob- I, I I fucked up but I think this is more of a year question. <laughs> yeah. I think you you can get away with maybe three times in a year. It's like ah you know just mistaken of a fart. That's just a, yeah. it's a disguised situation. But if you're doing this once a month, uh, yeah, at some point you wouldn't want to you would want to stop shitting your pants <laughs> uh, at some point. The, There's the, a number in there somewhere. The reality of this particular situation is there is a reason why I put an extra pair of my underwear in my goddamn truck just in case it happens at work and uh yeah uh i just yeah i stay clean so that's good for i you. don't have that problem that's good for you uh but yes it it i, I stay think ready three times a year i think that's the okay that's the cut i think four I, times I'm a with year levi i think gotcha. three is too many i think three is too many okay yeah fair i gotta call my doctor <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> doc you'll never guess what i did again <laughs> Third time this month. Time to time to for a checkup. I heard, I was listening to a podcast and they said this yeah, is the this is the this cutoff. Is the cutoff. <laughs> I'm supposed to give you a call. Uh, next one. What is the closest a distant relative can be in order for it to be socially acceptable to date or have kids with that person? 
I, I think there can't be any overlap in your <laughs> if you if, if you if you recognize anyone when you hang out with the other person that's too close. <laughs> what I mean by this is uh, a cousin situation. Cousin situation. How many cousins? So there are, there are these Czechoslovakian <laughs> twins. <laughs> God. on tiktok you, you told me about this <laughs> and they're brothers and they fuck that's so weird and man. it is weird that i want to fuck them <laughs> it is and I, do, I feel like i shouldn't want to you shouldn't but i do <laughs> and I, I mean yeah i, I think blood related is bad i well, think like duh, if you're a no step, shit. if it's a stepsister or stepbrother that's just hot what the fuck? I mean, that's just lucky me. Okay, for the longest time, I thought that this was just some weird thing that I've seen in pornos. It's, it's like it's a stepbrother, stepsister. And I'm like, no, that's yeah, just I've, weird. Everyone I've ever talked to is like, why? It's so weird. All the porn. I'm like, it's the most popular thing there is. Who are all these yeah, people then? Right. I'm, I'm on board with it. I'm me all, too. I'm a, step, how convenient. Yeah. Step, how convenient that your fuck buddy is right across the hall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and ever, you guys have dinner together ever every night. Ever since like the Brady Bunch movie, I oh, was right. on board with that. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I love you, dude. That's funny what shit. The fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. This is so wrong. <laughs> Uh, mm. I think that it has to be like if you have Marsha, to, Marsha, <laughs> Marsha. <laughs> if you have to take a breath in between trying to explain it, I think you're good. Then you're good. <laughs> I yeah. think you're good. Okay. But before yeah. we move on for this particular topic, I actually do have a situation of a person that I know who is married to his first cousin. Rudy Giuliani? No. Oh. I mean, Didn't that happen? I mean, no bullshit. I think he married his cousin. And the only I mean, reason I why I see it, I mean, it wouldn't. It wouldn't it's surprise well, me. It's well known. Like we all know it. We all we know, know this, this person. You I don't. know them. You don't. Oh. But but uh, all of in us the family. No, <laughs> no, it's not in Who's my family. All of us. Um, I don't want to give that away because then they know it's who. Derek. Uh, it's Derek. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Derek and Katie are cousins. <laughs> I knew it. They're trying to keep it on the DL. No, but uh, if I don't know them, yeah, then what's it matter? People that listen to this show know who it is. Know who it is. <laughs> yeah, and I don't so want to. So it's somebody from work. I didn't say that. Well, ha I mean. It doesn't it, matter. Yeah, first, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Who's fucking their cousin at work? <laughs> Tell me. First first cousin, and and the f supremely fucked up thing is, is that one of uh, uh, his wife's mother uh, passed away recently. And we all knew this going into it. Write that, down the clues. Yeah, yeah no, no, we all, <laughs> right, we, 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 dude, we all, we've all known this forever. But he came out and said it to somebody that is got the biggest fucking mouth on him and told everybody like it is fucking stamp and confirmed. But he basically went up and it's like, hey, you know, this is not just like my wife's mom. This is my mom's sister, man. That fucks with me, and I'm like. That fucking you? <laughs> like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the line might be there. No bullshit. Showed me a time. Showed one time. One time showed me a picture of yeah. This is actually me and my wife. First picture of us at we've ever had. Like, and their kids. They're at a family reunion at the fucking Grand wow. Canyon, and I'm just sitting there with my eyes wide, going, "This." Is fucked up. That Doesn't matter. Had kid. What do the rest of the family at the funeral? They just. What do they think when they see them? Well, I, I always knew they'd I get know. together. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Aren't there? Are there like some legal <coughs> barriers to that happening? I have no idea. Well, there should be. This is like a normally <laughs> yeah. an Arkansas, Alabama kind of joke, but it's not. You know, I found that in Kansas, we're not that far away from Arkansas <laughs> or Alabama. A lot of people don't realize this, but we're like the f the fucking <laughs> sister city. We're next door. <laughs> yeah. So you know, yeah, we're just across the hall, as as JP said. It yeah, earlier yeah but anyways all right moving on to the next one uh next one what is the socially accepted number of times you can masturbate in one day and not be a weirdo is there a number because <laughs> i've exceeded it i was gonna say this is kind of a this is kind of a talent based yeah, question there's sort, of a, there's sort of a physical ceiling there at some point i know uh but like on a regular basis like if on you a, 
It, How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> like, if you're 14, I'm going to give you all the room you need. Like, yeah. you do what, what if you you're 46? What if you're 46? <laughs> if you're 46. <laughs> if, if you're just, 40, just pulling a number out of my ass. <laughs> Let's go with 46. <laughs> I think if you get over four, you don't necess- you're not really a weirdo. You're over just, four? I think you're just lonely. I am a lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> You're right. Alone. I am lonely. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but no, I think this is more of a talent based question. What if it's someone else jerking you off? Oh, that's perfectly fine. Well, you can no, go no, as no, many no, times as is, you can yeah. go. This okay. is like, yeah. this, this is, is like solo by yourself, by yourself. in your room. I, I, yeah. On a regular basis. On a regular basis. Not a one off. What yeah. if you cry while you do it? <laughs> Because normally I'm in tears. <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> Who needs lube? I have tears. Yeah. Oh, man. That's great. Uh, uh, this is Okay, so four is where you're setting the line. <laughs> wow. no, no, my line, I'm even worse. I think I think my line for me, if I consistently do it every day, I think you get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I think that's where three. you get. Yeah, you get three. You get, you get shower in the morning. On lunch when nobody's at home and at home before anybody else gets home. I think that's a that's a safe number. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. I'll sign on for that. On the three. Yeah. I'll okay. agree with you even. Okay. Okay. That's Gotta good. Go three. Gotta well, pump my can we go four? Yeah. Yeah. On, Tuesday, we go on, four, on Tuesdays while we're recording the podcast, <laughs> can we throw another one in there? When I'm under the desk and nobody notices. Yeah. Me. I just think it's weird to, to like do it with that person that you could go and do it with in the house. So that's like eh, three is you're by yourself. You never met my ex. That He's a cold son of a bitch. <laughs> if I wasn't doing it myself, it'd never get done. I'm scared to ask my wife what this number would be. Yeah, I'll ask her. No, please don't. Uh, and last one. Uh, oh, no, no, we got two more. Uh, next one. If you are looking for marriage material, what is the minimum number of dates you would expect to go on before getting any from that person? So you have to go on a date. First. Yeah, you've got to go on dates. So is this is this okay? Here's the question: What is <laughs> that's not been my experience? <laughs> that no. has not been my experience. Come on, you're going on Look, a date with a everybody person? that I've dated for like a long period of time. I met at a club or on Grinder, okay. and we fucked on the first day. I mean, that's just what we do. That's kind of like your handshake, really. Yes. That's different. Yeah. That's it's different. like when dogs go and sniff each other's asses. Yeah. That's, yeah. Just, that's a cultural yeah. difference. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because yeah. uh, like, I'm not going to marry you if the sex isn't good. Well, I mean, that's that's true. But but no, it's like you're looking for right, an actual I want a, a real fucking, this is yeah. for real. I want a marriage and kids and yes. all that stuff. Yeah, or not kids. I mean, if you want to adopt, that's fine. <laughs> You can't make them. I know you can't do it. No matter how many times you come in a butthole, it doesn't work that way. Just saying. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming soon. <laughs> Just saying. No, but you're actually going to find a lifelong partner. How and many dates do you have to go? How on? many dates do you think it's, it's, it's acceptable for that person to oh. put out? Yeah. Because I think, okay, here's the reason why I say that. Because I think that if you get it the very first date and it's way too easy, doesn't that tell you that they're kind of a fucking slut from the very beginning? Which would make me want to marry them. And that's fine. That's your cutoff. That's right. that's yeah. totally acceptable. That's what I'm looking for. That's totally acceptable. But, like, I mean, if you're a nice guy, okay. like if myself nice and Levi. If you're a church going. Like uh, me, and, uh, me, myself, Republican. and Levi. No, if you're a nice that. Christian Republican <laughs> white person, I mean, then no. I think that you should be able to date a couple months. I think a two, that long. Yeah, sure. Why? Why not? Two or three months. Fuck yeah. My God, Levi. Uh, I uh, this is a. T- I mean, I I hate to be the like it depends guy, but it, it depends, depends on the yeah. person. You know, like sometimes you meet someone and you're like, love this, and we're vibing, and it's happening. And then there's other times where you're like, oh yeah, I it didn't like immediately like flare up into a fiery passionate love making session but i want to see this person a few more times and uh, then it's fine i don't think to me the marriage part doesn't doesn't really factor in if we're like <clears throat> dating if we're if it was just like a club situation yeah i'm probably not thinking like i might marry this girl immediately you sure know? sure sure so but if i was going on a date what, whatever they're comfortable with if they're like you know what i want to play it out then let's play it out god I'm, damn i'm picky i'm this willing is, to wait it out this is how i got a good one i'm letting you into my mind i'm letting you into oh, how oh this god fit. please i don't. swear no so my rule is three 
It's the rule of three. If they haven't fucked you on by the third date, they're done. Um, no, this is def- This is dead serious. Yeah. So, so first date that happens. First date happens, and you both hit really hit it off. And you want to be polite and definitely not fucking scare her. That's what the last thing that you want to do. So you don't want to be too forward, but you don't be do you don't want to be too passive either. I'm not saying you don't kiss on the fucking first date, but the second one, if it gets to the point to where it's such a good date that it may be a possibility, be the bigger man and and decline. Uh, politely Mm -hmm. third date though go for it yeah that's it yeah because you've done your patience you've respected (laughs) them and she didn't and we know if we know anything about you scotty it's that you respect people i do i do the really good ones i do (laughs) unless they're black or mermaids hey god damn it what but what if she's your first cousin yeah, well, well, then you just fu- you. That's not a marriage situation. That's not what I've heard. That's not what I've heard. It seems like it is. No, no, you just don't tell okay. anybody about it. All right, which is not what that. Do. No, I really do. Rule of three for me. Okay. All right. And last but certainly not, not least, what is the maximum age difference you think is acceptable between you and your spouse? Oh, this don't one, give me the ages this and may the number. Lose, this bullshit. may lose me some fans. <laughs> 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 JP is actually starring in a movie, a uh, movie called uh, "The Sound uh, of Freedom." Let's later, see how later. long is that. Um, <laughs> he was nineteen, and I was thirty-six. Okay, 37. hold on. Hold on. Uh, where's this at here? I mean, it's basically eighteen years. Okay. Well, here's how. Th- this is. Oh no! Actually, I'll get. I'll let Levi give the answer. His answer. I first. bet it's not eighteen years. <laughs> 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 no. What's what is your answer? What is this like? What is my personal? Yeah, what is, or yeah, what like, do I think everyone should abide by? No, <laughs> I, I think like like maybe you're so, you're socially acceptable. You know that guy. You know that fucking guy to where he's like way older and she just got out of high school and you're like Ooh, you know what i'm saying right right so where, where <laughs> when is it okay if it's like a serious thing and I, I give it somewhere in the like five to eight years is probably cool so not 18 <laughs> <laughs> but were, well, was there ever a chance that 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 19 year old guy was going to be like your life partner yeah man we were together for a long time actually oh, okay well then. uh we bought a house together and fucking yeah did the whole thing uh mm-hmm. the first time we ever walked we were went uh walking around the neighborhood uh one of the neighbors stopped us and you thought, told him you were his dad he thought i was his dad <laughs> he uh he goes he goes so he's like is it just you and your dad that live are living in the house because i haven't seen anybody else and i was like yep just me and my boy and i fucking put my arm around him you know like it was pretty bad that's, yeah I it made me feel real fucking creepy <laughs> uh, well uh, good thing you felt it because so does everybody else there yeah, so, so you said you were how old at that time i was like 37 30 uh, i'll give you 36 yeah thanks um, man <laughs> and he was thanks. and he was how old 19 just about to turn 20 let's just call it 20 i'll call it 20 yeah so you would not you would not fit no i would not <laughs> Not, not according to Levi. No, there is actually a rule for this that I've yeah. always, okay. I've always known. I don't so know where like I heard you, it from. I don't know where you like heard it from. Divide your yes, age yes. In that's half what he's and add seven. seven. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That is yeah. it. That's like the golden rule. But it, it kind of works in a way. I mean, seriously. So, so what half my I, age would be twenty three. So let's, and then add seven would be thirty. So, so the it, youngest person <laughs> I can date is thirty. <laughs> yes. I don't see that happening. <laughs> No, well, I, I'm 35, so 17, right? Close. Yeah. And 7, yeah. 24. Yeah. I, See, yeah, I feel it. like I'm going to pretend I'm Levi's yeah, age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've always heard that, but it kind of works because uh, it's definitely true that women mature faster than men do. I, we're all immature until we're like 50, and then we finally go, okay, stop it. That's enough. But, all right. I, but, but yeah, I think. Four years. Turns out I'm a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it half, already. Half your age plus seven all, right. all the time. It always mm. works. Unless you're JP, and maybe there's different rules for gay guys. Uh, I don't fucking know. There are. I think there definitely are. There are. Yeah, there there's definitely are. <laughs> because do you have daddy issues? <laughs> let me give you my website. Let me let me fucking give you my email yeah. and my phone number. I'll give you a free subscription to my OnlyFans. The only thing is, man, when you get to be my age, like and gay. Yeah. In order to get you have to is have that money. What happens when we get your age. You have to be you have to be money. You have to have money. 
<laughs> they all want money. <laughs> we hit 46, <laughs> and all of a sudden we're, we're like, yeah. I'm I getting, like dick all of a yeah. sudden. What the yep. fuck? It happens, man. It happened to me early. That's why <laughs> all divorces. That's why it happens. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That makes so yeah. much more sense. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, J- I don't know you all that well, JP. When did you come out? Like, how I old was, were you? Man, I was like 20, almost 22. Okay. I was. Really? I came out really late. W- was it a surprise to the people who knew you? Because yeah. you, you, it was a surprise Dude, when I first shocked. met you and, <laughs> and I found that out. Yeah. No, yeah. Everybody yeah. was very, very shocked. I, I, <laughs> so I was super popular in high school and stuff. And it was, I mean, when I was in high school, it was just not, because I was not okay. Right. Did like, you date girls? And, and I stuff? went to, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I went to a very small little town. Yeah. Try that in a small town. <laughs> no. <laughs> you get hung on a fence like Matthew Shepard. And how quickly did you know? Oh, I knew since I was man. Me and my best friend used to mess around when we were like twelve. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah dude. Like, look, he was twelve too, asshole. I was twelve oh too. <laughs> I was twelve. 12 we were both twelve. You prick. <laughs> so, so the divide in. But plus no, seven I mean, I always knew I was attracted gay? to guys. I don't. I mean, no, I don't no, think so. It just it was, was a twelve just, year old yeah, doing was, whatever yeah, twelve guess, year olds man. do. Yeah, but that's weird. It turns out I liked it a lot more than you did. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, I uh, yeah, I've no, I knew like especially all through high school, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. always super and way were, attracted to dudes. Were you unattracted to women, or were you just like I'm gonna? You just were playing along because you knew you had to, mm, or um, were you yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah, you yeah. weren't really into them at all? Mm, no, no, okay, no, interesting. I think it was the vagina. Yeah, I've 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 been attracted to girls, and I've been with with girls, plenty of girls, especially through high school. Because yeah, yeah, just, me too, you know, me too, me too. But uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 plenty liar. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I still would be with a girl if I was. I mean, if I, I'm a feel guy. So like, okay, I can, even if you're like the hottest fucking dude ever, I have to be comfortable around you and right. I have to have that connection. Otherwise my dick won't get hard. Sure. And yeah. you it's, know, yeah. I mean, I just, I have to have that connections, but if I had that connection with a girl, I would for sure be with a girl. Yeah. I have no problem. One with night that. stains have never been my thing. Cause yeah. if I meet a girl and like. I just like I'm not really interested in hanging out with you. Then my, yeah, I'm not same. interested in having I'm sex the with same. her either. I don't like to go the whole night either. Once we fuck, then I make them leave. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't like one night stands either. Yeah, but we've all had them, right? We've all had a one oh. night stand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had this. I had this one night. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I won't go into that. Thank What's God. Fun? Yeah, uh, no. but no, not but many. But I had enough, seventeen enough one night stands. I didn't like it. Yeah, I had seventeen one night stands in one night. I, oh Jesus, that's uh, that's a little uh, much. It was at a hotel in Oklahoma called the Habana. <laughs> oh my God! But we'll talk. We'll get. We'll touch on that later. Holy shit! All I was gonna say was I <laughs> remember it wasn't I, seventeen. It I, was I, like five. Th- thank <laughs> still Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, I remember whenever I first found out that you were gay. The first time I met you, we were actually playing cards over at Derek's yeah. one time. Yeah. And I, I don't know if it was a joke to just hey, don't tell Scotty. But I'm sitting here playing Scotty cards. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty didn't know. <laughs> Scotty had no fucking idea. And we're playing cards. Did I ever to suck your dick? No. Oh, okay. Because I'll do that from time to time. No. We're just sitting there playing cards. And of course, I'm, I've am i never met JP, but everybody else knows JP. So I'm kind of the odd guy out. And then, of course, the shit talking starts to happen. Yeah, he just and, thought I was fucking around. And somebody calls JP a fucking cocksucker. And then JP could just leans into it and i'm just like huh that's a strange way to take that joke and then more and Not more and more and it's like ah, uh, fucking something about a come on your face and he's like i just know i just want to be able to see it coming and i'm like wait the fuck on hold on a second <laughs> and and then finally Derek looks at me and goes jp's gay and i went jesus christ <laughs> thanks for thanks for letting me know i appreciate it and then <laughs> i believe it stands for jesus price right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it does it's it does jesus <laughs> anyway <laughs> Uh, but it ends up like like JP ended up convincing me by the end of the night that he found out he was gay whenever his uncle decided to molest him when he was a young kid, and I was bought hook, line, and sinker. Like, I no, di- I didn't just come out and say it like that. It was no. more jokey. It was more jo- yeah, 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 yeah. Let's not. <laughs> no, no, because I and, and I hey, was man. I was just trying to be respectful, and I just look over and I'm like, JP, really? Are you serious? And he's just like, no. <laughs> and I'm yeah, like, no. God damn it. Uh, but anyways, fun times. Hey, I mm. like that segment. I thought that was pretty decent. I'll Jacob. tell you what. For a new segment, I didn't mind it. There we go. See? <laughs> uh, All right. That- 
and a cricket nugget came in there. <laughs> we could, uh, I, I could do that one again. Okay, thank right. you. I appreciate it. Uh, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, this is my favorite segment because we, you know, get to have fun. Uh, next, I'm oh, sorry, first question. Uh, I haven't been having fun the rest of the time. <laughs> actually, I'm having a blast. But All anyways, right. first question for this week is, what is something that will always completely kill the mood right before sex? The uh, sexual harassment seminar. <laughs> yeah. really, Very really good. Puts a damper Very good. On it. <laughs> the yeah. fucking the, the fucking VHS tape yeah. they pull out. When yeah. they come in and you're like, we were just about to. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> When the Mormons, when they show up at the door, <laughs> and you're just about to fuck and the Mormons show up. I don't know. Have you me. met our Savior, Jesus Christ? <laughs> I'm about to if you just fucking leave me alone. I, I don't know for you. I think that'd be kind of a turn one on. Time, one time when I was with my ex, we lived in Park City and uh, we really were fucking. And the Mormons came to the door and I just got up just fucking naked as shit. Just went and opened the door. I said, hey. I'm trying to fuck my boyfriend in here. What do you want? And they both of them just looked at each other and they hopped on their little bikes and they just <laughs> rode away. And I never saw them again. So it worked out. Yeah. <laughs> they were trying to save you. Jamie. Well, they, they obviously considered the fact that I couldn't be saved. <laughs> you were on a different mission. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, they decided I wouldn't make a good part to their church. Uh, oh man. I, I know this is childish, but the fart, the fart <laughs> ruins it every fucking time. I fart pre poop, anything like that. Like it's just pre poop is definitely a turn. <laughs> like pre -poop pre -poop. Is just saying pre poop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's not like a real poop. It's just like a little <laughs> niblet. <laughs> no. It's, it's a little niblet it's sneaks like, out. Like they always got to go to the restroom before. And, and most of them, is to, it's to go pee. That's, be, you know, they got to go pee before. It's weird. I don't know why. But Women? Yes. Because they'll get a uh, yeast fucking infection. yeast yeah. infection. U UTI man. or something UTI, like that. whatever it is. So they always got to go to the bathroom. Fucking vaginas. They're not good for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about them that's just not right. <laughs> They're temperamental. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They are. Some yeah. of them have teeth. I uh, believe that they do, uh, and but yeah, I think that that ruins it. It's just it, it goes okay. away pretty this, quick. This girl I was seeing one time bought me a nut button, so just you push it and it goes nut, you know, like a little as a joke. It was something that we would joke about, and I had it sitting on my headboard, and so whenever we'd make a joke, <laughs> uh, she hit nut, and. Uh, <laughs> One time we were hanging out, it fell off the headboard and like behind my bed. And I forgot about like a, a week later, <laughs> she's over at my house. Things are like getting, you know, and then we start moving and the headboard bounces and it just goes, nut, 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 <laughs> nut, <laughs> nut, <laughs> nut, <laughs> nut. And I was like, that killed, I mean, that it was it. funny, but it killed the mood. We definitely had to like fish it out from behind the bed <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and then let it, let things fire up again. I like it. I like it. <laughs> That's God cheering you on. That's yeah. what that is. <laughs> yep. It was really, it was the hardest I've ever laughed though. That was really a funny night. Good stuff. Uh, next question. What would be the slogan for an alcoholics only dating site? Let's come before we go. Ooh, I like that one. Mm. I dig that one. JP, mm -hmm. I mine's easy. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I love you. Yeah. You're so great. <laughs> you want to come over? <laughs> <laughs> That's the slogan. <laughs> Nothing for you, JP. I've never yeah, done I'll this. I'll come back to you. <laughs> I've never done this before, but I'll try it one time. <laughs> That's for JP. <laughs> there you, okay you want to yeah. go with that one okay yeah let's go with that <laughs> okay that seems like me yeah that's the uh, alcoholics grinder right yeah, there for right. you you know i mean it is a lot easier to fuck a dude when they're drunk <laughs> or roofie i found or yeah. roofie yeah <laughs> of course uh, anyways all right uh next one what product for the opposite sex do you wish you could promote in a commercial so like i want to be the spokesperson yeah. for it yeah okay I'll I'll take the low hanging fruit if you would let me. Uh, go ahead, man. Mydol. Yeah. Oh yeah. You'd like to be the spokesperson for Mydol? Absolutely. You could be like. You could be all a the bad stuff that happens before you take the Mydol. I could see that, and then they take the Mydol, and you just change into somebody that's actually a decent person. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could see that. 
<laughs> no, I, I like. Are you a giant? Do you feel like a giant bag of shit? And then there's just you. And then take a mitel, and then it's, you just transform into some actual decent person. I'm ripped at that. I like point. that. Okay. No, I think mitel. I think that'd be great. I could just be the spokesperson. Okay. You know? Do you yeah. seem like you're being a bitch way too often? Does yeah. it happen to be that time of the month? Okay. You should try one of these, and maybe you will stop being a cunt. That would be mine. I think I like my version better. What do you got? No, I mean for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Your version seems like too much of you. It, it is. I, I could do plastic surgery. Ooh. I like that one. Because I would just want to hit with the on like, listen, <laughs> we we all can tell. Like, it's not <laughs> fooling anyone. It, my, my theory is, and this is obviously true of men too, but women, obviously, it's a, it's a bigger pressure on them to look young. And uh, I think that you have as an older woman or as an aging woman, you have two options. You can look like an aging woman or you can look like a fake young woman. Sure. But you can't look like a real young woman. No, there's no way to do that. So just pick one of those two options. Those are your options, but they all think they all think they're pulling it off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's one, there's one. She doesn't, she is a vampire. Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. She just got money, dude. She's (laughs) that's all true. And she's still, uh, She's, Actually, she's starting. To age she's a starting to age a little Shut bit. Shut up! Yeah, she's so yeah. fucking. How gorgeous. dare she at sixty? Right, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Start to show some right. cracks in the armor. <laughs> but Not don't even. worry. I'm I'm with you though. I, I'm totally with plastic surgery. You know what? Yes, they're fake tits, but they got real skin on them. So I would have. Did, I'd you, prefer did that. you ever watch Scrubs? Oh, I love Scrubs. I started. Yeah. I started it, but I never got into it. So yeah, that um, surprised me. Krista, Doctor Cox's mm. on and off girlfriend, like she's gorgeous, but she's the the actress who's Bill Lawrence, the creator of Scrubs, is his wife. Um, Krista Miller is her name. Uh, she is in um, that new show with uh, with Harrison Ford and Jason Segel, Shrinking. Shrinking. And oh, she, uh, yeah, yeah, and she barely looks like herself, and it really right? screws. I'm like, you're, it's not. I better. didn't even realize it was her yeah, exactly. for the longest time. I'm like, it's. I not love better. that fucking show. By the oh, way, oh, that show is great. great fucking and she's show. great in it. Yeah, I love her. But, but you, I'm, ne- I, it took me like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, how do I know that's that so, voice? <laughs> that's so awesome yeah. that you said that because yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did everybody answer? No, you didn't answer. Go the ahead. sister fister. God damn it! I'm gonna go with a big, <laughs> the big, f- the old big fucking. You know, you see those fister. commercials all the time. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know. those are the best. Well, every time those pop on, I'm like, God. Believe I wish it, JP was doing this. I know, and believe it or not, JP is promoting lesbianism. Good for you. Yeah, man. Turning the corner. Well, that's because they helped me win the draft. <laughs> is that right? They yeah. sure did. All right. Uh, uh, the question I wrote down here for you. Uh, next question. Tweets that would trend during World War II. Man, Hitler's kind I of a can't, dick. I can't, yeah. <laughs> I can't say some of the words that I need to say. But Don't. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I think that would trend. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Hitler's kind of a dick. Okay. I, I think that'd work. Yeah. Um, drop the bomb. Yeah. Or we dropped a bomb on him, something like that. I'm mm-hmm. I'm about to hit this atomic bong. <laughs> there yeah. you go. There you go. Yeah. That would be what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. How about you, JP? Tweets that would trim. How about what is the two. internet? How are we <laughs> doing this? <laughs> well, you know, it's a hypothetical you yeah, know, yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah. I get sure, you, I got you. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Jews will save the world. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would believe it then, but look at it now. God. Look, I mean, <laughs> if you're in Hollywood and you're not a Jew, you're doing it wrong. How about That's what I heard. Hashtag not my fear. Not my fear. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Now, all right, nice. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Take down that wall. Anyway. Next. Uh, sorry. Last question. Rejected Barbies. You wish they would have made a cerebral palsy Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> I think would have been cool. <laughs> God damn fucking it. looks like you left her out in the sun too. Like if you left your Barbie out in the sun too long, you could probably make your own. <laughs> but I think it would be good for kids to learn about that. You could double up Barbie one. vibrator Barbie. Uh, also Parkinson's Barbie. <laughs> Parkinson's Barbie. <laughs> same doll. <laughs> You'd be great. You're a great marketer. You should, you should have went into marketing. Oh, my God. 
Do you want to make some wow. money? Now, do you want to double that money? <laughs> then you should be my friend Levi. <laughs> Fucking Parkinson's Barbie. That's good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. I've got a couple. Well, let's hear them. We all we gave our answers. It's your turn, buddy. Lizzo Barbie. Lizzo Barbie. Can't fit in the box. <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> I, I just, just a little too big for the box, I think. You don't like Lizzo because she's black or because she's fat? <laughs> or is it both? Yeah. No. It seems like it might be both. No, it's because she's the beauty standard, and I think that's ridiculous. You seem like the kind of guy that when they had the when the first black Barbie came out, you're like, "Oh, this is horse shit." <laughs> oh, no. this isn't what we need to be teaching our children. God damn it! It's so bad. I mean, I mean if you want to have them in your own stores, yeah, that's but one keep thing. them the fuck keep out of mine. I don't want my kids yeah, seeing yeah. that. <laughs> Doesn't he seem like that kind of guy? He does, doesn't he? God damn it. He is that kind of guy. Jesus. Uh, and then I also had a minimum wage Barbie. Minimum wage Barbie. Yeah. Comes with her own trailer house. <laughs> but cell phone. Yeah. And vision card. Uh, her own EBT card she comes with. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Not really Uggs, but them shitty she, renditions of them. At the, the first of the month, they always have a big barbecue because then they can use Then the, all their food's gone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Again, guys, if you have any suggestions, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram and at Twitter, which is at LOT Sidelines. All your suggestions, we sincerely do appreciate them. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Um, everybody, JP, won a draft. Yeah. He sure I did. Uh, wow. Yeah. And I owe it all the lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thunk it? No kidding. Who would have thunk it? I'm so shocked. Uh, 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 but JP won uh, outright, and he beat Derek. Derek uh, shockingly came in second. And because everybody hates me, I came in last. <laughs> well, and your list sucked. <laughs> My list was pretty awesome. Yeah, obviously not. P- apparently, people don't people that don't put up their fucking shopping carts don't piss off nah, enough people. I guess not. Guess not. All right, but uh, JP did win a draft, so that means this week he gets the championship picks at the end. Uh, I uh, I took last, but Derek's not here because fuck that guy. Uh, so I get the sandwich picks. And Levi, being our guest of honor, you get the first pick. And this week's draft is going to be um, music artists and bands that everybody loves, but you fucking hate. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So a whole bunch of people like these kind of music or bands or whatever, and you just don't really like them. Levi, you get the very first pick. Who do you got? We're going to start with a great one. Okay. I... Do not like Nirvana. Oh, oh really? Hey, where's the boo? Oh. <laughs> Give him the. Oh, no, that yeah. one. There it is. Oh. Uh, wow. Well, yes. Levi's not going to win the draft. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I that's, don't know. Every time. I still think you're cool and I'm still going to come no. see your show, but <laughs> I'm not going to be happy about it now. Listen, I this this whole draft is going to be things where it's like, I'll listen to these people, but I'm not, putting, I'm not, I'm not like picking it. on myself. Okay. You know? All right. Yeah. That's a bold pick. Yeah. And I think no. there's probably a lot of people out there that will agree with you. Yeah. If you say that, what you just wrote down, if you say that, I'll walk off right now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what is what, like fucking. That's my fucking pass. What? That's my hall pass. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Scotty. My first pick is Justin fucking Bieber. <sighs> what? The Beebs? Oh, what do you got baby, against the Beebs? Baby, baby, oh. fuck off. I wish. That's a great song. Oh, oh God. Geez. I would fucking Actually. lick every inch of that, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, twice. <laughs> he might let you. I, He's Canadian. He's hot. All right. All right. Well, that is my All first right. pick. No mm-hmm. Justin Bieber for me. Okay. JP, you get two in a row. Since I get two in a row, I'm going to go with this. Okay. Blake Shelton. Okay. Fucking can't stand that dude. I like him. Okay. And somebody that I used to actually really admire, but now I fucking hate her, Gwen Stefani. Oh. Because she married Blake Shelton. <laughs> and if she could be that fucking bad of a judge of character, then I fucking don't <laughs> like her either. 
I could go with you on Gwen Stefani yeah. if you're talking about like all no right. doubt yeah, bullshit. All of it. I yeah, hate her. I'm now. Not, I was not. Yeah, a big I don't fan like of her that. now. Okay, so there's my first two. All right, and uh, I'm I'm surprised uh, that none of you guys picked this one as your number one overall pick, but I can't stand Taylor Swift. Surprise! I can't stand. <laughs> I love Tay-Tay. Of course, Taylor Swift. Yeah. Oh, Swifty! All you Swifties, Dude. honestly, suck it. I'm just gonna make a playlist of his draft picks. Right, it'll it'll be go great. all the way home. Yeah. Yeah. So you, can, you can just ride all the way home, blasting that shit, yeah. and I will still be. I've, I've got my, my phone out, eyes. going through my Spotify right now, yeah. making the list. Oh, Every, this God. is true. Every time I'm like driving down the road and, and a banger comes on the radio, I'm like, "Who is this?" I look it up. Taylor Swift. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude. Yeah, I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Oh, it's like, it doesn't get much it better. It doesn't than that. get much better than that. Yeah. There's some screaming crickets in that fucking uh, in that fucking song that you don't know about. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, I'll show you the video later. Oh um, uh, yeah, Taylor Swift is my pick. You get two in a row. Oh wow! Yeah, this is it's, a the, big, it's the swing this back. Is, uh, yeah. All right, all right. We're just gonna continue to <laughs> piss, to, to off. piss off this specific audience. <laughs> Not a fan of Metallica. Oh like, no! <laughs> I thought Bieber and Swift you were bad picks. Metallica? No. Yeah. Oh. Every okay. it's just one of those things. Everyone just loves them so much. Yeah. Every time I hear, it, I'm like, mm. okay. I mean, it's fine. Oh, it's all right. Fine. All right. No. Okay, and then this one's gonna. This will piss off a lot. Of I don't think. Too. I mean, it seems like you've got a theme going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No <laughs> kidding. All right, Bob Dylan. No, that's okay. Okay, that is just fucking Bob, fine. Bob Dylan is a fantastic songwriter. Yes, but he all of his songs. He's so bad at singing. Yeah. He sucks at singing. I wanted to make a tick. I want to do like a Bob Dylan impression. Just do a TikTok channel called Bob Dylan ruins your favorite song. And yes. have him singing. Jimmy it. Fallon does a really good Bob yeah, Dylan. Yeah, he does, he does yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I am in full support of that All pick. Right. Yeah, I don't right. disagree with that one. I don't okay. hate that one. Yep. Oh, dear God. This one's going to hurt people's fucking feelings. JP is watching me write it down. Oh. And I, I knew he was going to say something like this. The Beatles. Not my fan. Not my favorite. I, I, I've never liked the Beatles. Never. Yeah. Paul McCartney, suck it. I'm sorry. I don't. The Beatles, I'm bro? I'm out. I'm out. Like. They changed the fucking course of music. No, I don't know about that. Oh, for sure they no, did. I, I get even argue. I get no. all the yeah. credit. All the credit to the it's monkeys. Facts. No, <laughs> all the credit goes to the monkeys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who also I don't mind. I'm just saying. Yeah. Hey, hey, I give we're a, the monkeys. I give all, all the credit to them. Okay. Uh, but no, the Beatles. All right. I, I've just never been a fan. I wow. understand. I think I might win this draft. <laughs> <laughs> I was so skeptical at first. I, but. Un- I understand why a lot of people do. It's just it, okay. ain't, it ain't my thing. That's cool. So there you go. Right on. JP, you get two in a row. All right. These two are pretty controversial, probably. I'm sure uh, they first are. First one's Johnny Cash. Ooh. <sighs> That's my Metallica. <laughs> yeah. I, my just Nirvana. I just don't get it. Like, I love Johnny He's Cash. just oh, not. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, Johnny Cash never really got into it. All my friends are fucking hillbillies, and they fucking, every time they play Johnny Cash, I'm like, are you serious? And yeah. they hate me because, yeah, yeah. The, fu- the song that I used to walk out to was uh, Someday God's Gonna Cut You Down by Johnny Cash. That's oh, yeah. my favorite song. That's yeah. my walkout song. That's, <laughs> that's legit. Who okay. thought? Who thought the two so, of us we would come together? We just became best friends. They brought friends. it over Johnny Cash, folks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who also doesn't like black people. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Just so everybody knows, I, I'm not that. I'm not a racist, so, so get over it. Uh, uh, my second pick would be Nickelback. Fuck you. Yeah, Nickelback. Uh, <laughs> what controversial oh, opinion. Awful. <laughs> I don't. They are fucking awful. Awful. They're great. Okay, no, they're, they're, not. they're great. They are they're not. excellent band. They're fucking awesome. Okay, and they have lots of fans and a lot of people that make fun of us. Yep. <laughs> so, all right. God damn it. Um. Well, if if we're just gonna crash and burn, we might as well like go really quickly. And so I'm gonna go with Elvis. Okay. Not a big fan yeah. of Elvis Presley. Okay. I everybody sure. calls him the king. You're full of shit. So mm-hmm. that's that. Levi, you get your last two in a row. Okay, I'm going to go with one that is probably not as controversial now, but at one point it would have been extremely controversial. Kanye. Ooh, never yeah, no. never been a fan of Kanye. Me neither. 
Can you believe that Jay Z said that Kanye is the most brilliant person he's ever met? <laughs> like fucking Jay Z, you'd think he'd know a lot more people, yeah. but apparently no. Like uh, even when people are like, hey, "Look, I know Kanye is a bit of a dickweed, but he's a genius," and I'm like, he's "I not. don't get it. Yeah, I don't I'm, get I'm it." I'm with you. But, I agree with all that right. Pick. And my last one, I hope my dad never sees this because he would have. This is like his all time favorite. I, and I love this person. I think they're an incredible songwriter, but again, their voice just doesn't work for me. Dolly Parton. Oh, I just like, I don't like listening to Dolly Parton. <laughs> JP, he's, he's down. <laughs> I think she's a wonderful person. She does some incredible stuff. She has a whole, she's book. coming here. She, I would love to she's see coming her, to Wichita. but I just don't want to really? listen yeah, to her. It's, 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 it's part it's, of her. Like, uh, the, you know, she does that library for, yeah, the books, it's like, part yeah. of that, but she's going to be here great. in like next week, I think maybe mm -hmm. in the next, at least in the next couple weeks. It's just one of those people that every time people go on and on about, Oh my God, I love she's the part. I'm just like, man. I don't, uh, she's a great person. Steel Magnolia is my listen. favorite, like one of my favorite movies ever. Yeah. And most of it is because of her. I yeah. fucking love me some Dolly. I do love Dolly Parton. Okay, as a you just don't like her music. I just don't like her voice. I think she writes great okay. music. Okay. I just her voice is so like it's like campy and kitschy kind of because okay. it's so high pitched. Okay. And, you know, I'm gonna give you that yeah. one. All right. I actually had to break out the phone because you don't have any original thoughts. No, I had <laughs> to. Get, I have a get. I have to get a reminder because I have some that are going in my head okay. and I, and ah, there there is definitely. Okay. All right. Um, I really hate to do this, but I'm gonna go Madonna. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna yeah. I'm out of here, man. Sorry. Are you kidding me? No. Swifty and Madonna. Got them both. <laughs> They're both you, on man. my list. Oh. Oh, sorry. I got so as I a gay. <laughs> As a kid. I feel like I need to represent all of us. Uh, yeah, dude, Madonna's like I every know. gay person's hero. You might as well just said share. Uh, I mean, I um, that was one of my that was one of your that was one of my honorable <laughs> mentions. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, cool. that was one Madonna. of my honorable mentions. Uh, right but on. I'm gonna end this list with Madonna. Okay, JP, you get the last pick. Jason Aldean. Knew you were gonna say, yeah. Yeah. "God damn it, <laughs> yep. you would." Yep. Fucking try that in a small town. I love that uh, guy. Yeah. yeah, of course you do. I do. Yeah, yeah. Of course you do. Seen you guys go to the same rallies, Great. I'm sure. <laughs> no, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is our list. Uh, do we have any honorable mentions at all that we want to talk about? Because I got a boatload. Okay, go ahead, man. Beyonce Knowles. I love Beyonce. I know. Okay. Seems uh, like you would not like all her. the single ladies was a great song and the dance was There's, was great. She's got fucking tons she, of great. She's music, a part of the Illuminati. She's amazing. So I'm out. Surfboard. That's a great <laughs> one too. Surfboard. Yeah. Um. I love Beyonce. Uh, but there's a lot in there that I actually do like. I really can't stand Pink. I think she's awful. Oh, I'm I just, love. I'm just, she's my hero, bro. I love Pink. Dude, I'm just kidding. That is the most funny. <laughs> what is your fucking problem, man? <laughs> Look, we'll fucking throw down right here. Hey, you, you get to you, you can say a lot. A lot of things you can say a lot of things man <laughs> that isn't one of them dude oh no i was about on. to say just give me a reason why yeah right right <laughs> dude you're just fucking with me yes yeah, so i'm fucking okay with you. man yeah, i'm just fucking with you i'm about to lose uh it. bts is like a ken pop yeah, bullshit i, I wouldn't even that. recognize a bts yeah. song so i, I, don't I, know. I, I just know either. that one I Smooth don't. like butter. Okay, can I can I really embarrass myself? Yeah, sure. I stumbled upon a TikTok last night, which made me look up the whole video on YouTube. On that one, yeah. And it it's was awful. It was Gundam style live at like 2021 or 22. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. It was live and it was sold out in in South Korea, and it was. Fucking awesome. Sai, Sai it was the man. BTS or Psy was doing it. No, yeah. the actual guy. Oh, okay, that, Sai, okay. Yeah, that's Psy. I, I don't yeah. know. What has that? What does that have to do with BTS? Just because uh, it's just, they're it's, both it's, Asian? It, no, they're both in. They're both in South Korea. They're from uh, South Korea. Okay. But but yeah. that that song. I'm with you on the BTS deal. It, it was oh, it was so fucking cool, and I hated that song when it came out. I thought it was so stupid. Okay. But watching that was pretty fucking dope. I'll mm -hmm. throw out uh, basically collectively all the jam bands: Grateful Dead, Rush, Fish. I don't give a shit about any of that. I don't okay. want to listen to any of that. Okay. okay. Yeah. I like um, Rush. Stevie Wonder. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Now now I'm going way too far. Now I'm just uh, going way, way too far. Uh, but anyways, that is our list. Uh, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or our Twitter, which is at L-O-T sidelines and vote for the list that has, 
you know, some that you agree with, or at least the most that you agree with. I uh, might uh, win again, man. Music, I really feel like I might win again. Music artists or bands that a lot of people love, but you can't stand them. So go and vote, and uh, that will determine who gets to give themselves a blowjob if next anybody, week. <laughs> if anybody beats me, it'll be Levi, but... Scotty, I got you fucking beat. I'm right. I think I'm oh, I'm man. I'm sitting okay, I think. I that's like think that's so. that those are all in my top fifteen. Yeah, yeah. dude. He's a real piece of shit, man. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see that. You game. and JP should hook up together. That's all I'm saying. All right, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by battlecorncarepackages.com. Guys, do us a favor. I know they have their big um, masquerade that they have that's coming up here uh, in August. Please go and help them out. That is an excellent cause, helping kids that are going through some serious shit. Um, and we know the uh, the person who's in charge of that nonprofit, uh, Curtis. He's a great dude, great family. Unfortunately, they lost their daughter to pediatric cancer um, a couple years ago, and they are basically running this nonprofit in their honor. I know it brings the show down, but we would sincerely like you guys to go and check them out at battlecorncarepackages.com. Anything that you can provide help anyway, we would sincerely appreciate it. So thank you to them at battlecorncarepackages.com. Anyways, she situation time. All right. All right. Um, yeah, I, I think this one fits nice in this particular episode. Okay. I think we may have even done this before. <clears throat> Seems like it. I think we have. Seems like something we would do. It really does. I don't think we've offended enough people on this episode. Let's get on it. So we might as well do it. Um, would uh, you rather, sorry, would you rather um, have sex with your cousin and nobody knows about it, your first cousin, or not have sex with your first cousin, but everybody else thinks you did? That's easy. Uh, for you, I'm not even surprised. That's easy. I know. You'd fuck your stepbrother. I would. See? My stepbrother, I would. Yeah. 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 Before your cousin. Right. Yeah. It has no... It, but here's the other thing. I'd do them both at the same <laughs> time, <laughs> <laughs> if we're being honest. There's no consequences for you. Why? Because you still can't have kids yet. Well, that's true. So with us, if we have a child with our first cousin... Then it's... Yeah, not cool, man. Too many chromosomes. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> at least one there's extra. There's a good chance. Yeah. There's a good chance that something wrong is going to happen. You know, some somebody may have a tail, and I, don't think I it's a chromosome issue. I think <laughs> that. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. There's more to form. Probably a moral issue. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I don't have any morals, so <laughs> this is true. I say fuck away. <laughs> so it doesn't matter to you. It, well, I'd rather be doing it. Oh, okay. I'd rather be doing it and nobody know than people being like, oh, you know, he's fucking his cousin, and then people believe that. At yeah. least nobody knows that one. Yeah. that i'm doing it yeah I'm, I'm gonna go on reputation also i don't want the reputation of right. being that that's but, what i was thinking but also i'm thinking through my cousins and I'm yeah like, that's a tough even. one too <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't really have a number one pick <laughs> yeah, that's good <laughs> we know what levi's draft next week's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> now if we expand it to like second and third cousins oh, man, maybe, maybe no. i want to put a list in. we got some there real hot on oh, now we got some real hotties on down the line. <laughs> yeah, my my dad on his just on his father's side, he has forty five first cousins. Wow! So I have a lot of second cousins. <laughs> nice. Getting ready to say, so nice. you have a lot of options. Yeah, is what you're saying. A lot of options. <laughs> there you go. Good deal. Oh uh, shit! Uh, I I don't remember which comedian said it, but they always said like everybody has that one hot cousin. And I don't remember who it was. And I don't even remember the punchline. R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Um, but I would much rather live with myself than live with what everybody else thought. Right. My opinion of myself is a lot more. So you would not than fuck people your cousin. thinking of whatever they want. I I've done this show now for four years and people hate my guts and I don't care because it's a good thing. And so I pretty much am uh, standing by that. I would Has not anybody ever burnt a cross on your lawn? <laughs> One <laughs> because, time. Okay. One it seems like time. It was kind of it. a family reunion kind of a thing, but Good we deal. all just got, I'm just kidding. But no, <laughs> Jesus 
Christ. No, uh, I, I would definitely Does just. Scotty not. ever invite you to a barbecue, bro? <laughs> just fucking say you're busy. No shit. Because. All my best, fr- my best friends are black guys. They're kind of be there too. And mm. so no, don't even try. Mm. But, uh, but yeah, I am, I am not having sex with my cousin. That would haunt me to my grave. So I'm just not going to do that thing in particular. Okay. So you mm. two cousin fuckers yeah. suck. Okay. But, but did we? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I, I yeah. know. You don't know. That's the whole point. I fucking know. <laughs> Only one person knows. And, and that's I'm my telling cousin. telling everybody. <laughs> right. I'm telling everybody. And he's not And talking. he was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> he may not even know. He doesn't even know. I roofied him. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, <laughs> Levi, that was an excellent episode. I had a lot of fun with you coming yeah, on the show. Um, now, you got you got socials out there, I'm assuming. Yeah. What do you um, got? It's uh, my Instagram is probably the one that I push people to the most, at Levi Mabe Comedy, L-E-V-I-M-A-B-E okay. Comedy. Uh, if you don't know how to spell comedy, then don't bother. Don't bother. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to be for you. And, uh, Sound it out, fuckers. And I guess it's the same. I mean, Facebook uh, Facebook page, Levi Mabe Comedy. TikTok, Levi Mabe Comedy. So, yeah. yeah. And I'll definitely uh, tag you in some of in some of those videos, especially yeah. if uh, if I can get some of them on there without them getting taken down. Sure. And don't forget to get your tickets to the show on the thirteenth. Yeah, while well, oh, you still can. That's right. There's only a few left. There's only a few flu- or few left, and that's at Vorshay's Lounge. Or where yeah. is, it? is it at Vorshay's? Yeah, Vorshay's. Um, I uh, I think you just go to Vorshay'sComedy.com. There you and, go. And um, yeah, get the tickets. I hope I didn't. Lie. I'll have to. I'll have to make sure that that. that if you works, Google Vorshay's Lounge, I'm pretty sure it's one of the only ones. Or or go to Jeff Leeson comedy.com or levi there's there you links go. on all of those so yeah <clears throat> there awesome you go. awesome well thank you very much again for coming by we sincerely do appreciate it jp as always uh, i'm i carried the show i understand <laughs> i love thank you God buddy i'm here i love you back buddy. i know man we get one more week without Derek. yeah <laughs> baby <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for uh, helping out this uh, podcast and sharing it with your friends. We sincerely do appreciate it. If you have some friends that uh, would be interested in something like this, you know, offending a whole bunch of people and making inappropriate jokes, uh, do us a favor, tell your friends about it. But if you don't like us, do us a favor and... We hope you have to sit through a sexual harassment training hosted by your favorite porn star. (laughs) If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Keep on laughing, assholes. There you go. We will see y'all later. Take care.